Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the name of his and her imperial majesty, Emperor Ali Salas the first, Empress Razira Menin. <laughs> yes, family. One perfect balance. <laughs> Welcome to politically incorrect. Y'all probably wondering why I'm sipping and here. Whoa, that was yeah, pressure. But you know how we do. We we push back and we make things happen. So want to say welcome to very, very, very special edition of Politically Incorrect. If you haven't told a friend yet, go tell a friend to tell a friend. We have some special guests in the house, some VIPs in the house, and it's a, it's it's a, I don't know. It's an honor for me personally to be able to interact with these individuals and have them all on the same platform, having one big family conversation. So. I mean, we're a little behind, so we're going to jump right into it. So do me one quick favor, family. Just go tell a friend to tell a friend. Remember, tonight is that sacred night. So we got to say shalom, uh, Shabbat Shalom to our brothers and sisters observing the Sabbath. Um, Assalamu alaikum to the brothers keeping the faith, Islamic. Um, Ashe Hotep, you know how you go to the conscious community. Give me one second here. I got to put this on mute. There you go. And namaste to family out in the east and the brothers and the sisters. You already know it's Rastafari, blessed love. And to everybody else, it's just love and light, man. One family coming from different backgrounds, but we one family. That's the most important part. So you're dealing with one love, if nothing else. And having said that, though, I came across a tune that I feel is most important tonight. And we have a special guest. It's a clip. I'm going to play a clip just in a few minutes. This sister right here has done tremendous work. And I mean, I mean, I, I don't even know how else to put it in words, but we're gonna we're gonna spend some time tonight discussing the works of this great, great woman, Her Excellency. So before I go any further, let me just jump into this joint real quick so we could just start start this ball rolling. So go tell a friend to tell a friend politically incorrect is live while I just drop this quick tune. I think it's appropriate though, really, really appropriate. So we just gonna jump right into it, man. Let's get together, man. Let's get together, man. Yes, go tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. One love, one love. Yes. Let's get together and feel all right. Yes, family. Saying, give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel all right. Saying, let's get together and yes. feel all right. Tell a friend to tell a friend, family. I see you, Andrea. I see you, Wayne. Jackie Halam. Stephen King in the building. Shalom to you, brother. Sony, I see you. Art in motion. All Star Maria. Sammy, the building. Yes. All one language, you know. Doesn't matter the language. It is always love, family. Always love. One love. There is one question I really love to Just ask. one question, family. Is there a place for the hopeless sinner who has hurt all mankind? 
gun just to save his own. Don't believe me. Last city first. One love family. One love family. Love in any language. Love in any language. One family. One energy family. One love, fam. Just one single love, family. One love, family. Welcome to everybody here joining us tonight. One, one love, family. Just one love, man. Feel all right, family. One love, family. Look, don't matter the language. I only understood one language, <laughs> the English. Um, but I'm sure others might, you know, be able to identify in different regions, different parts of the globe. One family is one love we're dealing with, you know, and it's it's, it's long overdue. But we are thankful for it. Well, tonight, um, I mean, like I said, it's an honor. So if you're having a seat, put on a seat belt. This plane is about to take off. We're about to do a world tour. We're going to go to different places. So I'm going to just going to bring some guests in. And there's so much to be said about them. I don't have all the details. So I'll let them introduce themselves and tell us who they are. The first person I'm going to have is the, the I mean, the queen herself looking all royal um i i don't even i mean i hope i the last time i entered the last time i engaged with africa y'all know the story i spoke with the king and i spoke out of turn nobody speaks after the king <laughs> so i have to i had to check myself anyhow bayete bayete to the family i'm going to introduce this young lady join us for the first time on politically incorrect and um what more can be said um i just bring her on yes greetings and welcome to politically incorrect sylvia izuzo is that how you pronounce it that is correct i got it right okay. yes you did very good um, yes. yes i gotta turn the fan on on that one welcome to politically incorrect more importantly welcome to barbados again it's an honor to have you here you know, Bayete, Bayete, Bayete. Thank you for coming in. Uh, tell us a little about yourself, who you are, and why are you on Politically Incorrect? Well, I'm a woman with many hats, but uh, let me represent myself as uh, Sylvia Litana Zozo. Mm -hmm. I am the Global Director mm -hmm. for Community Outreach, as well as Chapter Formation mm -hmm. for the African Diaspora Development Institute. Mm -hmm. This institute is based out of Washington, D.C., in the United States of America, mm -hmm. which was originally started by Her Excellency, Dr. Arikana Chihombori Kwao, who is the former ambassador to the African Union to the U.S. Mm -hmm. Upon her leaving the African Union, she decided to put this organization together. She invited me, actually, to be a part of putting this organization together when she bore this idea out of her office as an African Union ambassador. So I serve uh, many hats, like I said, but today I'll be speaking as a global community outreach and chapter formation director. Wow. And I'm based in California. Well, you're in, you're, in, you're in Cali now? Yes. We're going back to back to 
Kelly, Kelly, <laughs> listen, it's a, it's an honor. I mean, you're, I mean, again, we, we got to thank the internet for allowing us as a people to connect and, yes. and these tools that some people use perhaps for malicious reasons, we got to turn them into tools to build back our kingdom, build back our nation yes. and make it strong again. So I want to thank you personally for taking the time to connect with us here in the Caribbean in the diaspora and all across the globe. Welcome again. To my pleasure. Yes, my dear. Uh, tell us about ADDI. I mean, I was rehearsing the ambassador's name. I said, okay, you can't go in there and call her <laughs> excellency. The wrong, you know. So I was, I was, no, no, they don't butcher it. They don't butcher it at all. I think I'm wise enough to let you say it a couple of times. But, all right, um, let, me, let me pronounce it for you. I know yes. it's a tongue twister. A lot of people have, uh, uh, you know, problems pronouncing her name. Mm. So her first name is Dr. Arikana. You see, no, I could try that. Ari, Arikana. There you go. Arikana. Arikana. Dr. Arikana. Yes. yes, that's it. Then the next one is mm. Chihombori. Okay, Chihombori. See? Fantastic. Chihombori. That was easy. Yes, the last one is Kwao. Kwao. Okay. Kwao. Okay, Arikana, Chikambori, Kwao. Chihombori. Chihombori, the H O M, Hombori, got you covered. Arikana, Chihombori, Kwao, doctor. Okay. Doctor, yes. okay. I won't let you have the honor of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but I love her nonetheless. You know, yes. uh, I, I'll say that uh, I, I have a clip I want to play of her. I think I'm going to start with that briefly. And then we can you can get into explaining some details for us. Is that okay oh, with you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful. So let me just go ahead and cue that up really quick. Uh, it, it, see, it's interesting when I tell people all the time. Oh, and by the way, I put up the Zimbabwe flag with the Barbados flag in the background. I had to connect the dots. You know? Beautiful. It's beautiful. I see it. It's very pretty. Culture, very culture. Pretty. One one people, man. But let Absolutely. me let the sister come on in here. And the six. this one is six minutes long. What I might do is simply just put the link in the comments so others can hear the fullness of it. But I'll just play the initial part of, of her coming on. Yes? Yes, that's good. That's okay, good. here we go, family. Let's let's run this. Um... To my fellow African diaspora, my name is Ambassador Arikana Chiyombori Kwao. I am the former African Union Ambassador to the United States. Allow me to take a moment to thank all of you for the support that you have given me since my tenure as the African Union Ambassador to the United States. I am so grateful and extremely appreciative for everything that you have done for me. Since leaving the office, there has been an outcry about what's next, Ambassador. Well, I have good news for you. I want you to know I have now registered an entity that is called the African Diaspora Development Institute. This entity is going to be a one-stop shop for everything African. This entity is where we the children of Africa in the diaspora are going to converge and discuss issues pertaining to our continent. In particular, in view of the African continental free trade area, which is going to be implemented this year, it is imperative that we come together and speak with one voice. Because if we do not, those from the East and those from the West are ready with their funding and their expertise to take that place that is your name. The African diaspora, we cannot afford to not be on the table. We cannot afford to be left out. Africa belongs to us. And as such, we must drive the continental agenda for Africa. The Institute is going to be concentrating on five major projects. The first project is the database. Naturally, as you can understand, without the database, nothing can move. Secondly, it is the Diaspora Fund. This is in the process of being registered. I'll keep you posted when the finance team advises me as to where they are in the process. Thirdly, the Legacy Project. We are taking a page out of the Jewish playbook. Our children will not know Africa through osmosis. We must make the connection. We, the elders, have a responsibility to connect our children. Through the Legacy Project, we are going to be fundraising in order to give a round trip ticket to students who are in college during the third or fourth year to spend a month at a university in Africa. To whom much is given, much is expected. We're also going to be raising funds to help our youth who are struggling on the continent 
we will be offering them interest-free loans of up to $500. In the process, we're also going to assist them in making sure that whatever project they choose to embark on succeeds. We're also going to be giving interest-free loans of up to $500 to women on the continent. Also, monitoring their projects to make sure that whatever they choose to embark on is a success. And lastly, our flagship project is the African Diaspora Centers of Excellence, AKA Wakanda. This is going to be funded outside the Institute by the fund. The African Diaspora Fund is the one that's going to be investing in the continental projects. A team of diaspora finance people are going to be making a decision in terms of which projects the fund is going to be funding. It is an exciting time, and I hope we can all pay attention to what is going on at the Institute, and I will be giving you live updates as often as I need to do so. Welcome aboard. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop it there for now. Like I said, family, I, I put the, the link in the comments. You can go ahead and click on it and watch the rest of that video. And there's many other videos by the ambassador. Um, what's the, what I thought was most important is that it's a plan. You see, there's always this idea of we're going to do this and we're going to do that, but there's never really a set plan. There's a plan. And the thing about a plan is that you can always tweak it to make it work and make it work better. And so the thing is to start, to say the distance to the longest journey starts with the first step. And this, without question, is indeed a few steps in the right direction. Uh, uh, my queen, tell us a bit more in terms of how do we approach the diaspora? How, how, what's the vision of ADI, ADDI for the diaspora? Well, like Her Excellency said, the, the reason or the purpose of forming the African Diaspora Development Institute is because, or was because, and it still is the same reason, that as a black people or as children of Africa or children of the continent, mm -hmm. there is no one set repository where you can just go and click one button and everything that you need to know about Africa and all the 55 African countries comes up. Mm -hmm. You literally have to go from country to country, country to country, or whatever government to government to find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So. ADDI, um, the purpose of ADDI is we want to bring as much information together from us, you, me, as individuals into one area, one repository where if you ask me a question about Barbados, I should be able to snap and give you the answer. I shouldn't have to go and research and ask you, well, where do I get it from? Mm -hmm. The second thing is we are developing a database. Right now, I think we're about 20, 25,000 strong. Wow. With, uh, with 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 our database, wow. the database also is a, a place that we need to come together to where, let's say for example, one government, let's say Barbados, says mm -hmm. they want to build an airport, mm -hmm. or they want to build a mega hospital. When they're looking for the diaspora, it's very difficult to get us in one location. Mm -hmm. They'll have to call you, call me, call who, call who before we actually come together as 30, 40 people, experts that come and build that hospital or that airport. Mm -hmm. But with the ADDI uh, repository, the database that we're putting together, when you put in your application, it actually emphatically asks you your profession. Mm -hmm. You say, "My, I'm a public relations officer or whatever you do. That's the, the primary. The next one they're going to ask you, say, I'm a seamstress. Mm -hmm. Because... Not everybody does one job. A lot of people have different things that they do. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if they're coming in with that airport and they say, well, we need somebody who's a public relations officer that can be able to disseminate this information for us or put the programs together. Mm -hmm. Where do they come to? ADDI. We punch in certain words into our repository and I'm sure 10,000 public relations officers come, will come. Comes up, yeah. Or 5,000 engineers or 5,000 mechanics or whatever the, 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 the you know, the, the, the professions that they're looking for. So it makes our life a whole lot easier because even the governments of in Africa, as well as the CARICOM, the, 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 the islands right now, when there are major, major projects, we are nowhere to be found. This is why all the other races run in and get them because they're together. You punch in Jewish community, you'll see them, bam, 10 million of them. 
you yeah. punch in Indian yeah. something so bad, true. you find 50 million Indians, but you punch in African, how many of us are coming out in us blacks? Serious. You find Nigeria Association, Ghana Association, Zambia Association, Barbados Association, come on. We need to be one people. That's right. One people. So ADDI is fighting hard to get us to a one million strong movement. Mm -hmm. Once we become one million strong, guess what? We are all trying to take our brothers and sisters home. I'm, an in, 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 I'm indigenously from uh, Zambia, by Zambian by birth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, I, I went to Zimbabwe uh, at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. What I saw made me shed tears with joy because the kings in Africa are waiting for their children. They have sent us out mm -hmm. to come and bring their children home. And this is what ADDI is about. That's 400 years that we have gone through with so much pain, turmoil, mm -hmm. anger, hate, or whatever the words you know that you can think of right now. I don't want to get myself emotional, but I'm sure we know where, where I'm going with that. I feel you, man. I feel you. We need the, the fathers, our fathers back home. When I say fathers, I'm talking about our kings and our chiefs and our queens uh, that are out there. They want their children home. We need to start healing. We need to start mending those fences. We need to start becoming one person like we were before the scramble for Africa came, before slavery came and they tore our families apart. Indeed. So ADDI is becoming the glue to bring all our people, brothers, sisters, children home. This like is our that. time. This is I like our that time. Word. I like that word you use, the glue. I like that word, the glue, bringing it home. And, and I mean, whenever I hear the idea of Africa, you know, and coming home, I always think to people, you know, you know, we were here first. Yes. Anywhere we go on this earth is home. Absolutely. That may be the headquarters, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but we always in ourselves, but you said it best, we, we, we are so divided obviously through education, like I was saying earlier, they give us flags and anthems and we become loyal to flags and anthems, but the Jews are the Jews and the Indians are the Indians and the Chinese are the Chinese. No matter where in the world they go, they stay connected. Stay together. They headquarters. Mm -hmm. They stay connected. We, mm -hmm. we have been fractured, but it's prophecy fulfilling itself and also for us to return as well. And he promised to heal the lands, you know. Yes. So have, speaking of lands, we have some folks join us also from throughout the, the, the diaspora. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. Should I start at the top or the, the bottom or the <laughs> bottom or the top? Or start in I, start I was going to I they always seem to get the I don't look, I don't know how St. Lucia does this. I just can't <laughs> figure this thing out. There's some mystery to the twin pitates. Is that the correct? I'm gonna bring the brother in from St. Lucia and 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 I I think it's only fear that. Be, you know. before, before you bring the brother on, let me just mm -hmm. give you some information that I think will be good for the soul. Mm -hmm. Sure. For the, people, for the people that are listening uh, right now. Um, right now, Her Excellency is in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. uh, Harare uh, precisely. And there's a program that we have started with the kings out there and the ki kings and queens and chiefs of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. They are having our children come back home by actually adopting what we call a diaspora. Wow. One, the village that this king, uh, King Rusike, I'm going to use his name because I've, I have permission. We've got a lot of videos on him right now. Mm -hmm. So King Rusike has opened the doors. So what that means is any diaspora that wants to have a claim or a place or land or a home, to play, a place to call home, mm -hmm. Zimbabwe is where we're starting with everything. Wow. We, there, are, there are 98 villagers in that um, village. Mm -hmm. including the, the, the king and his wife. So let's say 99, 100 people, right? So 100 diaspora are eligible to apply or to ask to request to be adopted by any of those villages. And they'll give them a piece of land, like maybe 10 acres of land. Wow. Come and build your little home. There's a, they've given us a waterfront, property, a waterfront um, area where there's, a, I don't know whether it's a dam or a lake or a river, but anyway, it's waterfront mm -hmm. that the, the, the king has graciously given out. So those who are looking to find a home, a new home, you can be from Barbados or wherever, but if you still want to be in Africa and have a place in Africa, the locals will help you build your little hut for as little as $10,000. If it's a two or one bedroom, if it's two bedroom, it goes a little higher. But guess what? That same community, that same family 
will come together and help you build your hut. When it's time for you to farm your farmland, whatever farmland they will give you. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, when they give you the land, it's just not to make it look pretty. You have to do something with that land. We have to start building the communities so that there's production, productivity, and there's also economic development in those areas. So I just thought I'd throw that out before we get uh, crazy with all the good juicy stuff we're going to do. You said throw that out. That's a whole mouthful. I mean, that's a, <laughs> you know, and the last part you mentioned, which I thought would have been the first, economic development. You know, yes. I, I can't begin to even stress how important that is to do anything. Mm -hmm. That's just the reality. But everything is in Africa. The, you know, yes. Africa does not need the world. The entire world needs Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's about connecting with our own and rebuilding. Now, of course, we know there's going to be some growing pains. We're not naive. However, mm -hmm. if we have the same objective to grow, not for us or our children, but for our children's children and beyond, then we can't ever go wrong. Can never go wrong. You know, and that's why the Caribbean, you know, not just Africa, but the Caribbean also has to have that same vision of connecting because we are so closely knit, divided only by a few miles of water, that it would be emphatically impossible to think that if we can't bring it together here, how are we going to bring it together over there? I mean, very you know, true. we're going to start at home. We're going to start yes. at home. And I haven't yes. said that. Let me bring the brother in um, from our famous beautiful yes i said famous and beautiful st lucia got next i think st lucia got now by the way yes. uh, brother kofi joining us tonight um representing st lucia and adi welcome my brother welcome to politically incorrect let me let me check your mic and see if it's, it's muted let me check your mic and see if it's muted there Sorry, yes, I was muted. That's all right. Greetings, my brother. Greetings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm happy seeing you, sister. Yes, Sylvia. my brother. You know, I've been there and getting goosebumps just hearing her speak. Wow. Right? Wow. It just ignite this fire. Um, and I think we are here for a good reason. We are here for a good reason. Indeed, indeed. Tell us, tell us, how did it, I mean, to my knowledge, St. Lucia recently launched their chapter of ADDI. Um, yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Okay, so we have been at it. You know, good things always take some time to, mm -hmm. to gel. Mm -hmm. um, we stayed on it since, you know, during the time of COVID. Mm -hmm. And um, finally, um, on the 31st of August, we officially launched um, ADDI Solution Chapter. Mm -hmm. Actually, what we did was that we were able to marry it with the month of emancipation. Mm -hmm. So there was a whole month of emancipation in St. Lucia. And so the inauguration of ADDI became the last bit of that. And that segued into um, what the UN had designated as um, the, the time for people of African descent. Mm -hmm. right? So that's why we strategically chose to position our launching just then. And it was very good. We we're very happy to get the ambassador to bless us with a um, vi um, virtual presence mm -hmm. and delivered some very powerful words that still resonates with the people of St. Lucia. Wonderful, wonderful. It reminds me, man, I was in St. Lucia giving out some words on the radio myself. It is always good to hear it being echoed across the, the, the not just the Caribbean but the whole world because the internet opens up everything for everyone, you know. So, where do you see ADI in St. Lucia? Where do you see it going next in terms of development oh, as a chapter? I'll tell you, interesting enough, <clears throat> we're just planning. Uh, I like the word you use, try what is it, tripartite, Tri trilateral, the trilateral, oh, trilateral union, <laughs> right? Shout out to Hamilton Lashley, by the way, you gotta tell him that one. <laughs> and I think we're planning one of the very interesting um, outreach programs for mm. the ambassador. Mm. And surprisingly enough, just putting out the word that, that the ambassador will be visiting us mm. has sparked some very remarkable interest. Wow. I mean, the, the number of people, I mean, I can tell you literally that almost everyone we have come across just eager to meet the ambassador. 
Wow. Um, and that's so that's the kind of spirit you know we, we feel. And and the thing is, the interesting thing is you'll be surprised. This is a time of the awakening for all melanated people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we sit and don't think that these things are really taking effect, and they are. Now you could get a young person tell you about Africa with some level of joy, mm -hmm. as opposed to a few years back, when all they could tell you about is people dying, people are hungry, people are this and that, right? Now, for some reason, we've all begun seeing the light. And I must say, the time has come indeed. Well, that's, that's, that's a good thing. I like you said now, you know, the awakening of man -lated people. You know, as as Rastafari, you know, as, for me, like I tell you, it, it's it's such a great joy only because this is what Rasta been preaching from day one. You Same know, truth. so it's almost like being vindicated, think that now here we are, and the world is saying, We are seeing you. We hear the message, we are recognizing. Yes. Like I could even go a step further. Look how long Rasta been preaching about the benefits of Ganja. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, now you get it. <laughs> we, we've been, yeah, we've been no, saying yeah. that. You know, you know, a queen, you know what I'm saying, Queen? We've been yes. saying that forever. Yes, yes, I hear you. You know, the Ganja that you're talking about is so true because a lot of times it was considered a bad thing, but where we come from, mm -hmm. that was the main medicine for us to get better. The healing our of the nation. Yeah, our grandmothers would mix it. I mean, not give it to you straight, but they knew how to mix this and that with it. That's right. And then a, a, a minor cold or minor whatever that you have, once you drink that, it's like nothing happened to you. It's so true. this here is also a good time for us to start demystifying all that nonsense negativity that has been said about Africa. That's right. The ganja that they're talking about is it is indigenous of Africa. It's indigenous of the islands. Mm -hmm. That is ours. That is our medicine. Now look at them jumping at it and talking about hemp this and hemp that. Now they have hemp cookies. They have hemp drinks. They have hemp this. Come on now. People have been arrested for using that stuff for so many years. They've been incarcerated. So many of our black folk, our brothers are in jail because of that. Seriously. Okay. So the awakening, who's who's being awakened now? Us or them? That's right. That's who's right. Who's being awakened? Us That's or right. them? We've been awakened a long time ago. We have been awakened a long time ago. Serious. Yes. Serious. And that's important too, because if we realize that what we're doing now is really ushering a whole new, and I don't want to say era, but realize that we have been kept back for so long. But again, not, not to get religious, it's prophecy. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, has been spoken about. The writing has been on the wall. You know, <clears throat> those who have eyes to see, let them see. Those who have ears to hear, let, let them, them hear. hear. So yes. we, to, like the sister said, to whom much is given, much, much is more is required, you know. Right. And St. Lucia, like I said, the brother, he, he St. Lucia is ready to go. They're looking forward for the visit. And we have two other islands joining us tonight as well. We have the A and the T. Of course, <laughs> I do alphabetically, you know. Not that I'm biased to get Trinidad in any way because I love Trinidad. Join us tonight is also Antigua. Now, Antigua for me is a very mystic island. And I say mystic because this was the first prime minister to actually openly, I don't know if he was sincere, I trust that he was sincere, apologize to Rastafari for the atrocities that took place when they started to legalize cannabis. And mm. I mean, not saying that others didn't mention it in passing, but I like to think that the, the Prime Minister and Antigua, despite the mustache, which I actually don't like, but that's his choice. <laughs> that's his choice. My thing is, he was man enough to say, I'm sorry. You True. know, so I respect that. Having said that, I want you to join us tonight, our sister from um, um, that mystic island, Sister Huggins. Um, welcome to Politically Incorrect. And Tell us a bit about who you are, why you're here, and give us ADDI experience in Antigua. Welcome, sis. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. And I'd like to say good evening to all our listeners, all our viewers this evening. Um, where do we start? Oh, man. <laughs> where do we start? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, okay, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My okay. name is Miss Ray Huggins. Uh, I am originally born in Montreal, Canada. I was raised on the island of Antigua. 
I am of Antiguan heritage, mm -hmm. St. Kitts and Nevis heritage, and the island of Grenada. So I'm what you call the little melting pot. I, I, I was going to say that. You, you took the words out of my mouth. Yes, I'm what you call the little melting pot. So I, I, I derive from um, very humble beginnings, to, to, to be honest with you. But I, the, the one thing that I mostly cherish from all of this is having the opportunity to be raised in the Caribbean region. And I'll tell you why it meant so much to me. Uh, over the years. Growing up, um, there was always this yearning or this need to know more about the continent, the motherland, mm -hmm. where we actually came from. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw a disconnect in the Caribbean region, mm -hmm. more so on the island of Antigua, um, as a child growing up. When I say a disconnect, a sense of I guess being lost and yet trying to find your way. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are Caribbean people, but there has to be more. And this is what led me fast forward to where we are today. It was constantly wanting to know, constantly needing to know what was, why did we end up here? And for me, why were we jettisoned here over the years? The reason why I say jettisoned is because if you look around the Caribbean, and this is a, 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 from a, um, just viewing everything that's happened to us over the years, um, our aid, uh, where we seek any kind of assistance, it was never really towards the motherland, our sure. continent. We sought help and refuge everywhere else. And in 2016, I can tell you what changed everything for me was I was contacted by a professor out of California who was doing the traveling of the Arusha African Travel Film Festival. Just to give you a brief background, I was why I am here today. And he decided that he wanted to do this festival in the Caribbean. He said, would you help me to do this festival on the island of Antigua? We went ahead, we did this film festival. In the interim, what ended up happening is that we ended up meeting persons who were from the continent, who came over, not really realizing who they were. They never said who they were until after post the film festival. They said to me, we were sent here by the governor of the Delta State. Wow. To conduct a report on your ecosystem. Oh, nice. Wow. And I said, the ecosystem? <laughs> he said, yes, your ecosystem, because this ecosystem and where we're from are very relatively similar. And from there, the rest is history. I've traveled to the continent. Divine time. I've, yes, I've, I've met every, I've met, I've met a few kings, a few governors. And then fast forward to 2019, I was approached one more time again. We're going to have an Afro-Caribbean festival here on the island of Antigua. Who do you think would be the perfect person to come as a keynote speaker. Hmm. So I did my research. And then I remember stumbling up on this one speech that Her Excellency made. And I said, this is it. I found the person who's going to make that paramount impact here wow. on this wow. island. Mm -hmm. And she came. I wrote her and she came. Wow. And ever since then, it's just been a gracious, when I tell you they hear the word Aracana here and it's like everything changes. Everything changes. 
it, 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 I can't even begin to tell you. Mm -hmm. I can't even begin. It, it, it brings me joy working with her. It brings me joy working with this organization. It brings me joy working with my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. Sister Sylvia, Brother Kofi, Brother Philip, amongst many others. I can say, I can attest to you here today and say to you, there's no backward anymore. ADDI is going forward. Yep. We are in phase two. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be boots on the ground from here on. We must make that change. And we must mobilize our brothers and sisters on a global stance. Serious. Mm -hmm. If we don't do it, I don't know what will become of us, even in the Caribbean. We are finally starting, and I'm glad that I am living here in this era to see that we're starting to now make that shift. Yes, yes. wonderful. Yes. It was never there before, but I am happy to say that it's happening now. Wonderful, hey. wonderful, wonderful. Wow, I mean... Whew, Antigua. I love that. Yeah, she killed it, didn't she? <laughs> I, 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 I mean. you, ha you have to remember, you have to remember, Barbados has its history, but well, you know that Antigua. Let me hear this. Antigua has a lot of history. Let me hear this. The, hear William, Lynch, the, Will, the William Lynch letters, How to Subjugate a Slave. Man, you don't want to start that. Where was it written? You don't want to start that. You don't want to start that. You don't want to start that. You do not want to start that. Okay. At all. all right. And all so right. we, we, yeah, we have to break free. You it's know indeed. that. It's indeed. Listen, I, I, it's, it's impossible to break free and not, and not get the anchor up. So before we can move, you got to bring the anchor up. Of course, the anchor being Trinidad. Of course, <laughs> Andy Coral Island, Tobago. You can't move this yeah. vessel unless you kind of raise the anchor. And it's interesting because Trinidad kind of does shape like a bit of an anchor. But nevertheless, we got to bring our sister here from Trinidad. Join us tonight. Also, Sister Colleen, another queen. I mean, I'm. this is just, I said, it's a humbling experience because, again, as Rastafari, and I had said this on one of the platforms um, with the ambassador as a, a former uh, ambassador to the African Union, which was originally the organization of African Union, started by His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I. Again, for me, it's like, wait a minute, y'all kidding me? So there's just no way I'm not loving this. There's just no Absolutely. way possible, you know. So a rose by any other name, it's still a rose. And it's time that we return home as one family. Um, our family from Trinidad, welcome to Politically Incorrect. Thanks for being so patient and also most humble with us, Sister Colleen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So I, I do mean, yes, yeah, no, I, I, no, no, no. I, I'm just going to tell you, you're Trini, so y'all don't wait for nothing. Y'all just do what you like. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all just, just do as go you right in, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, So go ahead and, and do what the dad is, just do naturally. Okay, so my name's Colleen Galazzi, but you can refer to me as Colleen. Um, how I came in touch with um, ADBI, you just got to excuse me, I've got a bit of a flu that's coming on. Yes, um, it's a gentleman that um, shared a video clip with mm. me of Dr. Arikana when she was speaking about what France has been doing to um, its previous um, 14 African um, colonies um, mm. on the continent. And that sparked a fire in me, actually, because I never knew, and like most of us in the diaspora, never knew what was happening our brothers and sisters on on the continent mm -hmm. and even to this day to find out that france was still stealing money from those countries in the form of colonial debt i found to be truly unfair and unsavory you know but what brought me to thinking about africa is that a couple of times i'm sitting here and i ask myself why is it this race is the most seems to be the most hated race everyone else got the same memo and i'm like there must be something extremely special about us that 
others know about us that we probably don't know about ourselves. Yes, and that started me off on um, research and researching about um, Africa and the continent and really getting um, a deep interest into the continent and wanting to visit the continent. Um, and I had my first opportunity to do so last year um, Ghana, and in Ghana when ADDI had their um, a huge event there last year, December, um, to launch the Wakanda um, City of Return um, as well. So I'm so glad that I actually decided to, to go to Ghana last year. And I met quite a number of um, persons from Malawi, um, the DRC, the Cameroon. I even met other Trinids, you know, Trinity Bone, those Trinity Bone folks who <laughs> live in um, different parts of the United States. Um, some of them are living on the continent right now, and we've maintained um, a lot of friendships um, with those persons that we've met. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be part of ADDI. And, um, you know, I really look up to Dr. Arikana and what she's um, doing, what she's mm -hmm. aspiring to do. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's got a lot of energy. Um, anyone that's around her, you've got to take your vitamins to keep up nice, with that lady nice, because nice, she's nice. got she's got a lot of energy yes so um and she's very inspirational when you listen to her videos you mm. want to listen to her yeah. speak over and over again it doesn't matter if she's saying the same thing mm -hmm. every time it sounds fresh it's like mm -hmm. a new anointing True. that she's pouring out every time she speaks so I really do admire her and our colleagues here in Trinidad, part of the Trinidad chapter as well. We're looking forward to meeting her. Um, we know that she'll be coming to Trinidad the earlier part of um, mid, earlier part of next year. So we're really looking forward to seeing her um, touch the soils of, of Trinidad and, and Tobago. And by the way, my mom's Trini and my dad is from Tobago. So I'm both. Yes. <laughs> so you're you're officially what they call a Trini Bago. A Trini Bago. <laughs> Trini Bago. That's yeah, what yeah. I am. A Trini yeah. Bago. <laughs> I always tell people that uh Tobago is actually the other part of Barbados. You know, people yes. don't like when they say that, but <laughs> you think about it as a coral island. Yeah. Right? Barbados is the other coral island. And I told someone a long time ago, you know, those two coral islands were the gateway to Atlantis, but that's another conversation. Wow. Different kind of conversation. <laughs> you know, not everybody's ready for that kind of food. You know what I mean? But uh, of course, I have to admit, speaking of Atlantis and special, special places, you know, there's Barbados, you know, <laughs> which is the gem of the whole Caribbean, because all y'all are tied across this fault plate, but there's only one little rock that's out there in the Atlantic, that's just a hop scotch away from Africa. And that's that beautiful, beautiful Barbados. And without question, I can't not do this and not include Barbados. So speaking of Barbados, we have Brother Phil and Sister uh, Christina join us tonight from the, I guess, is this is Barbados the newest chapter of ADDI? Yes, it is. Yes. Wow, well, look at that. We got the baby in the building, you so. know. You know, we got the veterans and we got the baby. I just see Brother Kofi just joined us again. We returned. He just dropped up for a second. Um, how to do, how do we introduce Barbados here? Anybody want to tell me anything? How do we introduce the baby in the building? You know? Well, the newest baby in the house has the loudest voice. That would be Barbados. Now, hold on a minute. Hold on. That yes. would be Barbados without mm -hmm. question. That is typical of Barbados. Lots, lots of voice, lots of activity, lots of happenings. I mean, it's just so thrilling. It overwhelms me. Wow. Being the last, the last chapter uh, uh, to, to come in and looking at how far they have gone within a month, wow. within two months. I mean, wow. look at look look at their their, their, their membership. Wow. Look at Barbados membership and the activities that they have now started putting together. I'm telling wow. you, it's mind, it's mind boggling. We, I, I got myself a dynamic team here. Listen to the one that just left a few minutes ago, Colleen, trying to belittle herself and not saying exactly what they're doing. Everybody is bustling and bursting at the hem. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. our islands are smoking. They I are on imagine. fire. And I can imagine. That's right. So I, really I don't good. mind calling. I'm, I'm going back for her. She don't know that yet. I got a little. I have a. I have kind of a bone to pick with Trinidad. 
Oh, well, actually, it's a, actually, it's a flying fish bone <laughs> to pick between mm-hmm. the dads. So she's yeah. not off the hook at all. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> it's a Barbados Trini thing. But we got to bring the, 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 well, there's a verse in the scripture that, that says um, the, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. But Barbara says, no, by any means, the last chapter of ADDI. But at this point, we're going to bring Barbados to the platform. And um, let me just introduce this brother. I met this brother years ago. He's passionate, mostly misunderstood, but so am I. So I could totally relate to that. Nevertheless, it's about the works, you know. It's about the works that you do. I mean, it's okay to, to look at people and wonder, you know, but when you find that purpose, when you find your passion and why God brought you here to this place called Earth, there's nothing that could stop you. I mean, there's nothing that can stop you. And so it's that passion that's the fuel that keep us going forward. And forward is the only direction we could go in. And right now, Barbara, it is to say, you know what? Well, let's go forward. Let's move. And, and Barbara has always been an influence across the region. I mean, this is nothing that is new. And by the way, it doesn't take away from the other islands because we are one Caribbean. That's right. They, like, right. like the Belgium <laughs> conference, like, like the, uh, the, the ambassador speaks about when they divided Africa, chopped this and pieced this and pieced this, they did the same to the Caribbean. They came in here and, well, the French would take this, the Spaniards take this, the Portuguese take this, the English, and divided the whole entire region as if we weren't together already. Mm-hmm. So it's the same experience. And the idea is that's, bringing it back home. So without saying anything else, let's welcome brother Phil and sister Christina to the platform. This is interesting. We have a full house. Uh, and let's bring back in the brother, the good brother. Brother Phil, tell us a little bit about Barbados chapter of ADDI and, and where this thing is going at this point. Well, first of all, thank you, Emmanuel, for bringing us on tonight. I'm very proud to be here with uh, our sister, Sylvia, uh, Sister Ray, um, they play a very important role in uh, the grand scheme of ADVI. And without mm. either one of them, none of this would be possible today. But mm. uh, above all, I want to thank the young lady to my left on the screen, Christina uh, Mame, Mame Foy is what I call her. And she's my everything. She does everything for Barbados. So let us not get that twisted up before I get started with my good mother. She does everything. She is the most brilliant assistant I have ever had. And I've had a few along my lifetime in my various business um, uh, endeavors. But she's the best. And I want to mm-hmm. make that clear because without her, we are having this all put together. First of all, thank you all for being here. But above all, I want to say that um, Barbados being the newest chapter of 46 chapters in ADBI is going places. And um, I am proud to be the chair of the Barbados chapter. I wasn't always the chair. I started out as the secretary in the original uh, alignment of Barbados. And after some time, um, I was asked to consider to be the chair, and I, I gracefully accepted, uh, not immediately, but I did. And, um, and I'm proud to say that we are growing in tre- tremendous uh, uh, leaps and bounds in Barbados. Now, I want to um, address a very important issue, and I know that Mame is going to elaborate on this a little more. We have Her Excellency... Ari, her, her, the Ambassador Arikana Chiamboriqua coming to Barbados on the 15th day of November. And I want every Barbadian lined up along the highway, the byway, and every street in Barbados that she's going to travel from the airport to her accommodation and with her, her, um, her entourage that she's bringing. We have two um, um, events that we will be sponsoring with the ambassador, the first one will be at the University of the West Indies on the night of the 15th, and the second will be at the museum on the 16th. I will let Mame elaborate on the, on the details. I'm not details person, she is. Um, the point of it is this. ADDI is probably the most impactful thing that's happened in my life so far. And I wasn't born yesterday. 
Um, born in Barbados, raised in Canada for 99% of my life, except for the last three years. I am proud to be a Barbadian. I am proud to be an African. And I look forward to the realization and the awakening of all people of melanin um, persuasion. I don't care what you call yourself, Trinidadian, Jamaican, Barbadian, what. We are all Africans. That's right. Most importantly, right. Africa is the entire globe. That's true. Because for 55 million years, we were here before anybody else came on this planet. That's right. right? I can go right. into all of my history and I can, I can speak from authority what I would say. So for, if we were here for 55 million years, there's no Europe, there's no Asia, there's no China, there's one, one, Africa, and we're all Africans. And now I had to go a very far away and a long way to learn that by raising in Canada and all that coal. And Sister Ray would know all about that. She's born in Montreal. I live in Ancaster, wow. Ontario. But well, they're much different, 3,000 yeah. miles maybe or something, Eight, 1,800 miles. I think mm -hmm. it is actually right there to party and stuff when I was a teenager. But the, the bottom line is this. On the 15th day of November, Her Excellency will be, a com will be coming to Barbados. That mm -hmm. will be a very momentous occasion in the, in the whole grand scheme of, of the world. Not just the Caribbean, but the entire it's a royal area. visit. It's a royal yes, visit. Bar yes, it is. Barbados is the oldest Ibu settlement outside of Nigeria and it has the oldest <laughs> Ibu uh, temple, outside, Hebrew temple outside of Jerusalem. Now, understand that the difference between us is only the Suez Canal that is mm -hmm. separating Egypt from Israel. And then the rest is history. I don't want to go into all of that tonight, but the point is simply this. As Hebrew people, as black melanated people, mm -hmm. we have a lot to be thankful for. And this is the time and the awakening. And this moment is the most pivotal moment in history. Mm -hmm. Christopher Columbus never came to the Caribbean. That's a lie. Just like all the other lies that they've perpetrated upon us. And I won't going to that tonight either but i want to say this all the folks here have spent a tremendous amount of time and effort to come before you tonight and to be able to open themselves up to whatever attacks they might, might get from whomever we don't mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. if you're not prepared to die you're not prepared to live so let us get on with the business of living and I am here today to say to you all, Barbados on the 15th day of November, I will announce the time of our arrival later, not now. I want every one of you to line up that highway, come to the airport, rush that airport. I want about 10,000 people to see the queen come home to invite indeed, us all indeed, home. Indeed, back, indeed, back indeed, to indeed, where indeed. Where they say is our home, but we know the whole world is our home. We own this planet. Thank you very much. Indeed. And I was just going to say I know you Phil so I have to pull the plug there a second and pull mommy in. I say I know you and if you don't pull you 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 know you take this in till the 15th of November. And so <laughs> no because there's so much no because the truth is there's so I much that can be said midnight of the 14th but before yeah. then no I'm no talking. okay there's so much that can be said <laughs> and we need to get you back here again to say even a little more <clears throat> for sure um sister mommy now Phil is always highlighting <laughs> the fact that as a matter of fact before I go any further family um look man people always telling me Emmanuel when you guys come on I'd be locked in I just don't want to stop to miss nothing I'm saying go tell a friend to tell a friend. You got to share this experience. It is a must. I know you I know you're locked in and you don't want to miss a beat, but you got to make sure you tell your friend to tell a friend because this cannot be missed. This event is, I mean, it is historic on many levels, many, many yeah. levels. And let me go a little step further, man. You know, His Imperial Majesty came to Barbados in the year 1966 
and Brahali Selassie the first came to Barbados. And it wasn't a scheduled stop, but it was a stop that was scheduled for him nonetheless. In Barbados, in the parish of St. George, there's a statue of a lion, which is interesting yes. because the conquering lion was coronated, which is next month, November, in the cathedral of St. George. There's a lot mm -hmm. of connection. There's a place in Barbados called Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Now, I mean, again, and there's no coincidence that Barbados shapes like Africa upside down or maybe right mm -hmm. side up. The point I want to make is that whether we buy into it or not, at least go take a look for yourself. Go see for yourself and discover for yourself the connection. Africa is calling. She is calling. She is calling. And right now, next month on the 15th, Africa is coming. She's coming. She's coming. Sister Christina, welcome. And to Emmanuel, yes, Emmanuel, before yes. you bring in Sister Christina, may, may I just add on to what um, sure, sure, Chair, sure. Uh, Barbados Chair just said? I just want to make sure that this statement is complete and the people get it correctly. Sure. We started the, the sentence, I'll complete it. Uh, we are coming to the islands of Barbados uh, uh, on, the, on the 15th and the 16th. And then, of course, I believe we will be also in Antigua, uh, St. Lucia and Antigua. Those are the three islands we're starting off with. Now, those of you listening, don't think that we have selected and forgotten the rest of you. We will be coming back in intervals. Mm -hmm. Because here in the U.S., Thanksgiving is coming for November. Then, of course, December we have Christmas. Then January we have uh, New Year. The purpose of our coming to these islands is to come and educate ourselves about the Pan-African Congress, which is going to take place in April in the country of Zimbabwe. It's going to have be held at the Victoria Falls. The native name for Victoria Falls is called Mosuatunya. So... We are coming there to give you a little brief, you know, like a synopsis of why nice. we are getting this PAC together. It's for you and for me. And we may not see changes in our lifetime, but guess what? Our children's children, maybe 10, 15 generations from now, are going to benefit from this. So the PAC stands for the Pan-African Congress. It was first started in the 1900s. Go and look it up. Read That's about right. it. Because That's if right. I tell you now, you're going to be lazy and you don't want to know. That's but right. it's worth your while. This is giving us a seat at the table at the African Union. That's right. Once we get ourselves together as a diaspora, let's go 10 mil uh, 1 million strong. At least let's start with that. So that when we get to that PAC, guess what? We're coming as heavyweights, not as lightweights. That's we right. are coming as heavyweights because we need a representation from the islands, from Central, South America, India, we just found out about the CD people. We have the aborigines in, in Australia. I mean, everywhere where there's black people. That's we right. need to come together. We need to bring our people together for the PAC. This is what has precipitated this uh, this trip. We're, we're calling it uh, Island Happy with Her Excellency because <laughs> we, <laughs> we need to see you. You need to see us to know we're real and that what we're doing, we believe with all our hearts as mothers and grandmothers and parents. We need to do this for our children, like Her Excellency always says. I don't want to live until I'm 100 and something, and then my grandchild or my great-grandkid asks me and says, Grandma, this and that happened. Where were you? I want to mm. tell her that the front line, I helped put that PAC, ninth PAC together. By the way, the eighth uh, PAC was nullified, so we're not sure whether this upcoming one will be called the eighth PAC or the ninth PAC. But whatever it's called, it's important that you put this date down, the second and third weekends in April in Mosiotunya, Livingston. The president of Zimbabwe is asking all their children to come home. Come and see for yourself. Come and be a part of history. Come and dictate that which you want to see just from today. The PAC is for you and it's for me. It's ours to do with as we please. Let's mold our continents. Let's mold our islands according to the way we want to build them. Nice. Let's build the Africa that we want. Let's build the islands that we want because that's our homes. Agreed. This is what we have. So if you're not coming and you're not at that table, don't blame nobody tomorrow and start complaining. Because we've, as, as this color here, we're very good at complaining about everything. Oh, but yet no. when a solution is given, 
a lot of us back off because you're afraid of the backlash. This is your time to rise and shine. Come to the PAC. Uh, 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 room and board is taken care of. Buy your ticket and come. If you can't afford a ticket, eh, let's see if there are any sponsors out there maybe that can help purchase a ticket for you. But I'm saying it as a represent an official representative of ADI, the president has officially invited their children to come home for the PAC. So let's do this together. Let's wow. prove everything, everybody wrong that says we can, black folk can do something together. Wow. You know, that's that's the connotation behind us. And we gotta take care, we gotta take care of that nonsense. We gotta change that. We gotta change right. that narrative. That's right. That's right. They need to start talking about the PAC was a mother of all PACs. Mm -hmm. Look how these black folk came together. You're gonna we are going to shape the world when they yeah, see right. this thing coming. They need to start feeling us. My my brother from uh, St. Lucia, uh, Kofi said it a few minutes ago. We are the beginning of humanity, and of course we are, yes. Mm -hmm. So if we're the beginning, why can't we? let's finish it? You see what I'm saying? Yes. Let's finish what they started. We're canceling that 400 years. We are starting a beginning, a new life for ourselves as black mm -hmm. folk. Mm -hmm. Melanated people are on the rise. We were not asleep. We were not asleep. We're just waiting for the right time. The right time is God's time. And right, right now is God's time for us to come. So please, That's right. let's drum that PAC into people. Uh, Chairman Barbados, you already said you want 10,000 people lined up. I'm sure Antigua, uh, you're out there, get 15,000 people lined up. Uh, St. Lucia, get your 20,000 people lined up. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. Always St. Lucia. Is for us. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and, and, and very quickly, very quickly, just to add, uh, those of you who wish to attend the Pan-African Congress slated for April 2023, Go on to our website, www.ouraddi.org. Just above the logo, please click on the link and fill out the form. Nice. The delegate questionnaire is available for you to fill out. The deadline is December the 31st, 2022. So you still have time. Get that questionnaire in and submit it to us. I, I'm going to, to put the to link. Each and every one of you. Thank I'm you, going to VP. put the link to the to the to the website in the comments as well. You could go ahead and click on that Thank and um, share with your friends and your family. Take a look; it's right there or ADDI.org. Um, the link is right there, and I'll put just some above the logo. In a Thank you. Can can you, can you show my screen? I got the background. Uh, let me look. let me let me pull you up here a second. Hang on a second. Yeah. Let me pull you up there. See? There we go. When you come yeah, you right away. As a matter of fact, I'll yeah, yeah, got you covered. Got you covered. Lovely. All right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up as well. Um Sister Christina, tell us tell us a bit about the plans for Barbados in the interim. Wow. I feel yeah. like you may have to fix the camera a bit. I can't see your face, Christina. I just see your lips. Yeah, yeah, while yeah. she's doing that, while she's doing that, yeah, let yeah, me yeah. say this. Give me one minute, uh, <laughs> mommy. Uh, we have, I want to take 200 to three, 250 to 300 people from the region to Zimbabwe. I'm taking at least 100 from Barbados. And I want you all to show me your good faith by clicking on that link, as Sister Sylvia said, and registering so that I can get you to Zimbabwe uh, uh, in April of next year. Thank you. Go ahead. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mommy, I mean, bring it home. Let me want to rotate your screen if you can. I'm not sure. It's up to you. Is this good? If you, if you want to, you can yeah, okay. it. Okay. Put it as a I'll, portrait. I'll, I'll leave it like this for now. Once you guys can see me. Okay, right. you have your reasons, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I you feel see. like Miss Sylvia said it all. Philip said it all. There's really nothing much no, else no, no, left that's not true. That, That's not true at all. Come on, bring it home. You got but I'll tell you, I'll just share how I found ADDI. I was actually searching for myself. Um, just let me explain briefly. I've always had a strong desire to find out who I truly am. I mean, I looked at slavery, but I always knew I had to have come from more than just that. So I looked past that. And my search took me to looking to Africa and different countries there and wondering, well, who in Africa even looks like me? You know, a lot of questions that I couldn't even answer. And a sister of mine actually intercepted that thought. 
and she introduced me to the first video of the ambassador that I would have seen. And she was talking about French colonization in Africa. And let me tell you, let me tell you, that feeling I got from the first few minutes of watching that video was profound. I think that was probably the first time I actually understood how to really use that word profound. It was that. <laughs> that flaming passion that she carries in her heart and in her words, it lit a fire in me that I didn't even know I had. And it still fuels me even now, a year and a half to two years later. Um, I then searched and I found our local chapter, our Barbados chapter in its interim stages. And I began then working to help build it to where it is today standing at 175 plus members and growing. We still have people lined up that are waiting to be added. It's crazy. Philip hasn't even sent me all the, all the persons yet who want to be added to our chapter. We have a backup. People just come in, let me join, let me join, let me join. So that's actually really good too. But that's how I came to be with ADDI. And I'll say too, I love, I absolutely love the family vibe that ADDI brings. I mean, when I used to interact with uh, Miss Sylvia in our first stages, she came to me like another mother, like a mouth full of encouragement, you know? She always would push me and encourage me to be the best that I could be, you know? <laughs> Even as far as Buffalo, um, Ras Jomo, Ras Jomo also encouraged me. I mean, I don't see him too much, but I know he's there. Ras Jomo also, and that's all the way in Buffalo. So you know that ADDI is a family. When you have somebody from Buffalo checking on somebody in Barbados, wow. you, know, you know it's that family vibe. That's like a call, like, hey, uh, you ate today? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Buffalo, yeah? Zambia, Zimbabwe, St. Lucia now. Now I just met um, Queen Colleen. Like, it's just this family vibe, you know? And our team here now is no longer even a team. It is a family. We are like a family. I have gained so many aunties and uncles in the last <laughs> couple months. It's amazing. And I know that it will continue. I know that it will especially on the foundation that we are building now, it can only get better. It can only get better. I, I thought you said you had enough. I thought you said you had enough with this chair. I, I a, you, know, you, know, you know what's amazing, Emmanuel, is that uh, Christina's Passion. mama, as I call her, um, is the strength of this organ, of this family here in Barbados. And I, I want to say that I cannot say it enough. Let me say to you this, folks. Come and check us out. All you Barbadians sitting out there that have never heard of ADDI, you need to call Christina. I get a lot of calls, but I need you to call her because she's the strength. She's the one that's going to gel everything together here. We cannot wait to have the ambassador here in almost, what, 18, 20, about 20 days now until she arrives on this island. That's the beginning of everything it is the beginning we go from there to saint lucia saint lucia to antigua that is the beginning but we are not stopping there it's the entire caribbean family that is going to be visited by her excellency over the course of the next 12 months in all her other visits to australia new zealand europe canada she's a busy woman but i want us to take the opportunity in the next few weeks when she arrives here at Barbados to make our appreciation felt and known for all the hard work this woman has done. I first saw her three years ago on a video and I was so impressed with her. And when I was asked to be the general secretary of the first chapter here, I accepted to be such. Um, and I will say I have no regrets. I have no regrets. The fact that Barbados is growing so fast, Christina is saying 175. She's more official than I am. We got about 300 people waiting to join this organization, and I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. 
because I have probably about 60 people on my desk that we have not processed yet. And she's going as fast as she can. I just had to hire two more assistants that are coming on board in the next couple of weeks in order to help process this and make this stuff that wow. we're doing. That's Sylvia. Great Sylvia. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Between uh, Queen Sylvia and, and, and Queen, Queen, Queen Ray, who is uh, my fellow Canadian over there, uh, Canadian Caribbean, but let's call it what it is. We are the, the plot. <laughs> yeah, we are a mix of people, but we love we love who we are. And then I got to meet two fabulous people here in the last few months, Brother Ray, uh, Brother Kofi, sorry, and, and and Sister Colleen. And you know what? We have meetings uh, weekly, uh, and I will tell you something. We're gonna we're gonna bring this Caribbean family together. Well, well, speaking of Sister Colleen and, and, and Brother Kofi, you know, as again, I'm in Barbados. If I got to choose a rock, I got to choose Ben. I mean, that's just, that's just what it is. But I, 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 I'm choosing Ben, but I'm embracing everybody. Mm -hmm. I said it to say that, you know, St. Lucia, I visited St. Lucia on more than one occasion. And I mean, the thing is, Caribbean love is the same no matter where you go. And what I think the brother said earlier, which was most profound, is that the, you know, the ambassador came and this put a whole new spin on things. I think people in the diaspora, what we call the diaspora, you know, in, in a sense, whatever that is, right now have been waiting for the voice, just like the, uh, like the Ezekiel Bones, you know, waiting for the right voice to start to come together. Um, you know, Sister Sylvia talked about, you know, divine time. The truth is, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be and not the end for us, which is our new beginning, but it's the end for that. The system that is how it was. And this is why it's important. And Brother Kofi said it earlier again, that people are recognizing and they're coming. I mean, they're coming, they're coming. St. Lucia, St. Lucia is, St. Lucia is, I admit, man, y'all did it with your launch, man. I even watched a little part of it. I didn't watch all of it. I was a bit busy. I want some of it as much as I possibly can. Uh, before you go, tell us, brother uh, Kofi, um, what's next? I mean, y'all are preparing for the, the visit, of course. Yes. You know, what special events y'all have, you know, highlighted? So, you know, one of the things we think. I mean, definitely, she leaves Barbados on the seventeenth. Seventeenth. So she gets to San Lucia on the seventeenth. Um, we're still working out certain details. Depends on how early she gets, we have prepared that at least she meets um, the young people because mm -hmm. we can't be talking about this and not involve the youth. Facts. Right? Facts. So our plan is that she will probably meet um, the Arthur Lewis Community College, which indeed will be a group of young people who are going to be unleashed into the working um, environment. Now, it also gives an opportunity to say, no longer should you always think your survival is in the USA or is in, is in Europe, mm -hmm. but it probably could better be in Africa. Right, by home. And so sure. that is also a thought process that we think the ambassador will help, um, you know, cement okay. with our young people. Wonderful. Then we plan maybe two um, lectures, one may be a, a panel discussion, and the other one, she does what she does best, give us some lectures of what we have been um, all waiting um, and wanted to reinforce, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because the time is short, I mean, we, we, we're going to wear her out, but <laughs> look, this, this lady's got it. Wow. Um, she's got it. She does. Um, she does. So, I mean, we, we will ask her how much she's willing to give us, and we'll grab every inch of it. But she comes to St. Lucia on the 17th and leaves Antigua on the 19th. Right? So we are preparing everything possible to make sure that she gets a very beautiful welcome Wonderful. and that St. Lucia can equally benefit from this unity that is being created amongst all of us here. This and is like just the beginning. Because charity begins at home. Yes. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't I don't hear any parting. All I hear is work, work, work. When, no, 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 no. You no there's gonna be a party. party. There's gonna be a party. Huh? There's gonna be a party. You see, the party is at the end. Right, the right. But, but you, you gotta no, 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 no. You gotta work and party. Then the next at day the same time. 
See, okay. at the same time. I you see, okay, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. You see now, you see now, see now Trinidad know how to party. Trinidad, listen, listen. listen let, she's coming let, in let, February, let Queen, right? Queen Collie, the... go ahead, Queen Collie. Explain to our Lucian family how we do the party. Explain. Yes, how we do the party. Listen, you have to walk with your pillow and your sheet in your car. You're not going home, okay? <laughs> I love that Trini Trini style. style. Sheet of your car. <laughs> I know I about that. Christmas, I I know about Monday that. to Friday. I'll That's bring right. two pillows and two blankets. So for two, two pillows and two blankets, yeah. the That's back right. seat of your car. That's, That's how right. we do it. Thank you. You see why you gotta love Trinidad. Don't, don't matter yes. what Trinidad do, right? All you can yes. do is love them. You know, shout love out to them. Queen Anna, by yeah. the way, the, 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 the Queen, total Queen, sovereign Queen. It's important, right? That as much as we sit here and laugh and joke, this is serious business yes, because. Today. The idea that we're not waiting for permission, we're not waiting to be told it's okay. You know, mm -hmm. divine order is what governs the earth, and we have reconnected with that divine order, that spiritual mm -hmm. connection that brings us all together. That's one thing they can never stop, no yes. matter what. And that's what we have to continually connect and tune into, not be uh, divided by dogmas and, and politics and education and, and classism. But recognize that oneness that we all share as children of the Most High. You know, um, Sister Sylvia, I can see you want to say something. Go ahead, sis. Yes, yes. I I just want to share something else that um, is really important that ADDI has embarked on. It's one of our programs as well. In the very beginning, you uh, she uh, when you showed her video, remember she brought up about five um, five programs that right, you know right. we were yeah we were we were we were follow we are following so to speak. Mm -hmm. Some are still in line, some we've put to the wayside, but I just want to bring something in here. Uh, ADDI has started what we call the chickonomy. Okay. Chickonomy is where you raise a lot of chickens at one time, and they're raised by the community that you belong to. Mm -hmm. If you recall, a few, min a, a few minutes ago when I spoke, I mentioned to you guys and I said the, um, the chiefs and the villagers are adopting diaspora, correct? So... The economy. the reason we are raising our own chickens is because do you guys know that between 60 to 80 percent of our consumed chickens in Africa are imported? Wow. Does anybody know that? Yes. That's yeah. a lot. That's yeah. a lot. That's too yeah. much. How many billions of people do we have in Africa that honestly we can't raise chickens to feed ourselves? We have to let the Chinese, the Indians or whoever else out there, you know, feed us. It, it yeah, just doesn't make sense. Uh, her Excellency has come up with this program in uh, in uh, in um, in Zimbabwe. The same chief, the same king that I told you about uh, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. He has given us a fowl run that was abandoned by a, a farmer that used to you, you, used to own it a few many many years ago. So because it's in his kingdom, he gave us that 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 place for free to use, so that we start this economic development, like uh, Emmanuel had mentioned earlier on. Mm -hmm. So we have now gotten a team of people together. Uh, the community actually over there are the ones who are raising the chickens. So ADDI is still overseeing all those projects, and we want to spread this globally. It's not only for Africa. I think somebody from, was it Barbados or, or, or Jamaica, had called me to say, can we start this in, uh, in, uh, in, in our region? And I told them, yes, we can. But as of right now, because of the PAC, Everything is just upon one person who is the excellency. Of course, we do jump in with Ray when we can. But you know that when she runs on something like you all know, I mean, she runs on adrenaline nonstop. <laughs> so I'm saying this to say, those of you who would be interested in starting the economy, if you have the land or if you have a, 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 a what you call the, the hen house, or what you call it again, the, the house where we keep chickens. We call it the chicken coop. Over okay. here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. If you already have a chicken coop that can at least accommodate anything to start off, the first the first batch was five thousand. We sold them at uh, five weeks because they got so fat and they started dying of a heart attack. We grow our own meal for the chickens. By the way, we grow our own corn, our own whatever it is that we need to mix them together to feed our chickens. Our chickens are supposed to be a hundred percent non GMO. Wonderful, Listen. wonderful, so, wonderful. If we can do that and spread this to the islands, to Central South America, to Australia, wherever we can go, my brothers and sisters, if you're listening to me, get in touch with us. We are here for you. 
it's our time to start now rebranding ourselves, rebranding our background, rebranding our continents and the countries that we live in. We don't have many years to live. Some of us are, hey, going downhill, but I refuse to accept that. But I'm just saying, let's get together and start putting these, these programs that Her Excellency has so elegantly and eloquently put together for us. Mm -hmm. All we have to do now is follow because I was part of the original one that we started. Thank God. I know a little bit of, about how you know it's done, but I still need another refresher course. When we go in April, if some of you would like to see the projects that we're working on, please you know, let us know because there's a tour that they're going to give. And I believe that is part of our tour. So please make it a point to come. This is for you. This is for us. This is for me as well. So let's come together as children of the continent children of this color. So we go home and build the Africa that we want, feed the Africa that we want. The, the, the development that is going to come because of that economy is going to be ginormous, ginormous, because it's going to spread like wildfire laterally across the continent, of course, down to the islands, to Central and South America and everywhere else where our people are. So I'm pleading to you guys as a mother, as a grandmother and as one of the leaders in ADDI that follows Her Excellency diligently because we have to get this. I believe in her and I believe in everything that she she has, has started putting her hands on. Wonderful. It's something yeah. that all of us should be proud of, <clears throat> something that all of us should have our hands in and let's spread this. Let's make this a reality. Thank yes, you. Let's make it a reality. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. I like that. Let's make it a reality. You, you know, the, the most important thing, and I'm going to throw this out there, not playing devil's advocate, I'm playing God's advocate, and I'm going to say you. this, Thank and that's you. why this, this flag is always here, representing sovereignty. And this is the, the idea what sovereignty is. It's not that you don't have interdependencies on others, it's that others that are of your particular, uh, I don't, for lack of a better word, I use tribe or clan, although those may be colonial terms, but we are the same family and family will always support family. We don't always have to agree on everything, mm -hmm. you know, regarding fish issue with Trinidad. We don't have to agree on it, but we understand that there's a relationship. There's still love. And although I love you, I could say, I don't know if I agree with that. Let's look at it again and let's That's see how right. we can fine tune it. And then the key is to not abandon it, not to throw the proverbial baby out with the bath water, but to sit down, discuss how we going to make this work, because ideally the plan is and the objective is to make it work. You know, that's where the magic happens. Family, Brother, um, a quick one. No, wait, hold on a second. I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to hook you up. I'm trying, I want to plug you in because I know you said some stuff earlier. And I know, again, they boast about St. Lucia bringing, you know, extra people. And St. Lucia always <laughs> seems to just, for some reason, land on their feet. I just, yes, St. Lucia... Do land on their feet that for some reason st lucia beautiful just, island beautiful, beautiful, island. beautiful a beautiful island look you know what like i said we want caribbean you know breathtaking one caribbean Bien. and the sooner Bien. we get to that brother kofi tell us the better go ahead bro okay so brother Emmanuel, i i just want to throw a little more light on what sister sylvia said mm. and i must say whatever we're doing we're doing it because we do have this communal help from Sister Sylvia, Sister Ray. I mean, we call these people pretty much just any time. <laughs> just about. Just any time. I mean, yeah. I'm guilty yeah. because I, don't I call it. Sister Ray, I message her, she's driving, you know, <laughs> just, and she does it with love. Okay, so you cannot not push because everybody else is helping. You call brother, brother Philip, he finds a solution for you. I mean, you just can't stop. But I wanted to say this. Sister Sylvia was talking about the power of this economy. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, we do have problems um, everywhere. We have problems of unemployment. We have our young people who struggle with <clears throat> financial freedom. This is an avenue from very early, and it costs pretty nothing. When you look at the money that we spend weekly, monthly, on irrelevant stuff, right, just putting a little bit 
goes a long way. You are beginning to create an investment of a lifetime, not only for you, but for generations yeah. to come. The fact that we are the most disrespected people on the planet is mm -hmm. primarily because of finance. Mm -hmm. Because it's clear it's not by lack of intelligence. Of course not. But it's mm -hmm. by finance. And if these are some of the basic low-hanging fruits mm -hmm. that we can begin to tap into now to change our destiny, I employ every young person all across the Caribbean and the world to join us in this. Because, look, we may not necessarily see the fruit right away, but would have been changing the generations to come mm -hmm. from not being disrespected like we have gone through. So I think there's so much power and that we need to acknowledge. And there are many, many other opportunities that ADDI is bringing to us that otherwise we will not have access to. There's something called the, the, the um, investment in gold. Mm -hmm. But Emmanuel, on your own, tell me, how much would it cost you to <laughs> even think of being a partner in a gold um, business of any kind? How Listen, much it cost man. You? Listen, man, don't start that, my brother. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, ADDI makes this possible by using the concept of susu, which is mm -hmm. African by nature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you put a little bit, and we all together, you know that famous word, Ubuntu. Mm. We got to leave it now. Yes. It's either we do it now or we perish. Yes. yes. Thank you for bringing it up. I was, I was leaving that for last. Thank you so much for bringing Yes, he's yeah. talking about the gold. Yeah. And let me just also reemphasize what he has said. Just like the economy, it's been financed by us, the diaspora. Yes. To become a part of a, a economy village uh, project, the minimum investment uh, uh, rate was two fifty per unit, right? Yeah, that's correct. The economy yeah. is two hundred and fifty dollars, and I know that I I blow two hundred and fifty dollars on weaves, nails, <laughs> makeup, nonsense stuff that doesn't even do nothing to me, right? So, imagine yourself saving two fifty, two fifty, two fifty till the end of the year. How much money would you make? Mm -hmm. And how many parts would you have in that economy? You can mm -hmm. literally. Invest in five, six, seven, ten different countries mm -hmm. with that economy. Absolutely. Now we go to the gold. It's the same thing. The susu that he has talked about is being headed by Dr. Franklin Abraham. Uh, Ray, please put Dr. Franklin Abraham's information at the at the bottom so people can contact him if they need to, including the economy. Mm -hmm. On the gold right now, as we're talking, uh, the the government of Zimbabwe has gracefully given us, you know, that leeway to go and do our gold mining. I was privileged to be there on the first one that we, we had acquired, and I was uh, live with Her Excellency when we went to examine that gold mine as well. And I did do a video. I believe it should be on YouTube somewhere. If not, if somebody wants it, le let me know, and I'll you know have it uh, sent to you guys for your teams. But I'm saying this to say, when you do susu, uh, 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 th there's always a minimum, of course, investment of uh, how much you can invest into whatever projects we're doing. For the economy, it's 250. For the susu, it was a thousand dollars, correct, Ray? Yeah, right, that is correct. That is correct. Now, like Brother Kofi asked, mm -hmm. where can you invest one thousand dollars in gold and call yourself a gold owner? I mean, where? <laughs> and let us let us also add that with the economy, it doesn't just stop with no. purchasing a chick at two fifty per unit. No. What the actual final aim is that we will have our own abattoir, we will have That's our right. own packaging, yes. we will have our own branding, and we will have our own exporting of our own chickens that we know how they're fed and how they're reared. Correct. Correct. Yes, she finished that for me very well. Thank you for neatly putting that package together. So we're talking on uh, the economy and the gold right now. These are the main functions of ADDI, which are taking place in Zimbabwe. Her Excellency and our VP uh, uh, Cook, uh, Dr. Whitaker and Mrs. Whitaker, and uh, I think Brother Sims and Thomas were all in Namibia last week. That we, is are starting, we are starting the economy in Namibia as well. I believe Zambia too is on the list. 
So those of you who are interested in starting these economies and you want to know how they're going to, how they started, please contact Dr. Abraham Franklin at our ADDI.org. That's uh, Franklin, um, I mean, Abraham F with a Frank, uh, for Frank at our ADDI.org. He will be able to share whatever information we have. Right now on the gold, there has been a standstill because there's a waiting list for people who wanted to join after we had already closed the first set. So anybody that wants to become a, a, a member of ADDI, please go to our website at our ADDI.org and join and pay your $365 a year, which is $1 a day. a day. We spend $1 a day on coffee, on candy, on whatever. So let's make that $1 stretch so that as a team, this movement will have a lot of legs to run with. This movement will have a lot of hands to do the work. This movement will have a lot of lateral movement because it will spread like wildfire, like I said before. And this starts with you. If you sit back and fold your arms and say Ray and Sylvia and Kofi and uh, whoever else will do it, well, guess what? You have yourself to blame because we have done the legwork. We're still doing the legwork and we would like you to join us. Let's push our movement forward. And we do need the help. We Sister do Sylvia. need the help. Many hands make work light. True. Sister Sylvia, you yes, know, sir. we're the we're the Caribbean. And we are always forgotten and left in the dark somewhere because we are the Klingons that you know people at least people think we are, but we're not. We're powerful people. I sit in here in my little room here. I have I can show to the world what we are already working on bank licensing we have green economy projects that we're working on we have mining in guyana all these things that we didn't start yesterday and i'm not overshadowing or trying to overcome but we are a little ecosystem all by ourselves over here and in addition to what the the the, the motherland has given us we have to be able to embrace ourselves and be able to appreciate ourselves for who we are. And mm -hmm. I want to say to my people here in Barbados and in this Caribbean, let us come together and form that union that will allow us to move to any platform that we require to be in to, to, to strengthen and to bring ourselves above the water. And that's that's what that's all I have to say on that. I have, I have a question here. Someone is asking, Brother Phil, um, yeah. if that that currency is that dollar is in U.S. dollars. Yes. 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 Um, I, I do believe. I, I do believe um, we are reviewing that, uh, Sister Sylvia, for this region. But uh, we will have more concerning that uh, at a later date. But. Mm -hmm. This has was being discussed earlier. Yeah, I heard that. Well, so have an yes, update for some for regions. You. Yeah, for some regions, the amount was a little bit too high. That is correct. Yeah. And uh, yes, it's been brought to a round table. And until they come up with a different figure, I just use that because that's what we have on our website. But like uh, Sister Ray said, it's under review. So once the review is made and we come up with a consensus, as right. to what makes sense in certain other areas. And of course, it will be announced publicly and possibly put on our website as well. So for now, I'm just using what we have on the website, which is the original amount that we started off with when we created the organization. But like she said, there are revisions coming for things that we set up already. Because when we set it up, we were tunnel vision. Now we are out there. Glory. And no, Barbados and all the islands are not left to the boonies. That's not true, not on our part. It only looks like that because we were slow in getting a start, you know, to rise. When, when you start at any organization, it takes a while for us to build up. And of course, to get our tentacles out here and out there. When you don't have those hands to reach out, it's difficult to do a job. As soon as Miss Huggins came on board, guess what? The islands opened up like it was a flower. It was yeah. a blossom. I mean, it just blew up because now we had a voice, we had legs, right. we had eyes, we had hands. To say, no, guys, this is not how it works where we live at. You see what I'm saying? I can tell you all I know about Africa. She can tell me all she knows about the islands. But if we don't come together, she will maintain her, her, her knowledge of where you, she comes from. And I maintain my own. 
But look at this camaraderie now, this communion that has come together. She's teaching, you guys are teaching us. But it's a sad, sad state of affairs if, if our people on the islands feel that they're left behind. It shouldn't be like that. Mm -hmm. Not at all. We are one people. We are one family, no matter where you are, like I said earlier on. We have Indians, I mean, cities in India. We have our people in uh, Australia, New Zealand, everywhere in the world, they're black folk. We are one people and nobody should feel lesser than the other or feel abandoned, no. Sometimes lack of knowledge just make it look like that. But from ADDI's point of view, ADDI's perspective, Her Excellency, Dr. Arikana Chohomboriqua's perspective, he says all of us are what? One. One. And that's how it's gonna be with ADDI. We have hundreds of organizations, Sister Sylvia, between Central South America and the region of the Caribbean, but never, I can, I can attest to this, that out of all the organizations that I see that has an impact, it would have to be our organization, yeah. ADD. Wow. I can, I can say that, I can say that truthfully. Sister Ray, even the simplest thing as pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. we, my, one of my companies is the representative of Cuban pharmaceuticals. If you look at that there, Correct. Cuba pro provides some of the best pharmaceuticals in this entire world, not just the region. Mm -hmm. All these things we have at our disposal. Barbados, yes. wake up, understand what we're saying to you. We're coming here from the 15th, the, 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 the Caribbean, um, 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 uh, uh, journey starts right here in Barbados on the 15th day of November. Please give us your 100% support. We will not disappoint you. There's so much to come. Sister Ray hasn't said it. Sister Sylvia hasn't said it. But I believe that we are going to have pretty soon a bank announcement coming from ADDI for this region. I'm a business man, so I can't help but jump on these things. While well, they talk about all the other stuff, I got hit with all the all the bombs that that me that put bread and butter on the table. We're gonna have a bank. We're gonna have not just in in one, but through this whole Caribbean region and possibly some South American uh, regions mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I, they can elaborate on those. And problems. aviation on the rise as well. So we know yes. we know that there's a few <laughs> things. There's a there's a few things coming. Sister Ray, can, can you talk a Sister little Ray, bit about, about the, bank the bank in Antigua? Yeah, talk about the bank, Ray. I can. Uh, what I can tell you at this present time is that we are looking uh, into an acquisition. Uh, it's preliminary, it's, in, it's still in its preliminary discussions, but we are looking into an acquisition uh, here on the island. Uh, this is um, something that we have been working on, I would say since 2019, it was something that we were commissioned to do. Mm -hmm. And of course, I must tell you, um, we hear about acquisitions with financial institutions. They're not an overnight process. No, no. no they're not. They're not an overnight process. And um, there are some that, that may feel that, oh, by tomorrow we can have it, especially when we're dealing with the African diaspora, as you and I both know, there's all these little tentacles that go up. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. watching. Everybody wants, you, you, you. there's something going on there, a flag. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. try and eliminate that, but at the same breath and air, it is time for us as a diaspora to have a global stance, not just a credit union, but no. something no. that we can call our own. And once we get that, this is the way that we can stand up against some of the bigger giants. Thank you. It takes a while, Sister Ray. It I, takes I a while. It is not I an overnight. And those who right understand right. that industry, Without no. showing too much detail, since 2019, right? yes. 2019, look at the, the, and you know, since 2019 to now, we only got approval, what, a couple months ago to have this license in this region here. So mm -hmm. it takes a while. Uh, okay. Folks, come home, come home to ADDI. We, this is the biggest Pan-African organization in the world. It is the most balanced. It is the most distributed. 
in the sense that everybody can be a part of this organization. Sorry, family. The ambassador doesn't like the word organization. It's a movement. That's right. It's a movement. Movement, and movement of Ja people. There you yeah. go. In Barbados, we have yes. a very strong family. Uh, we have Sister Gemma and Brother Al and Brother Jeff and I can go down the name, but the queen is right there behind that sign. Move your face over so I can see. Queen, <laughs> queen daughter. Queen <laughs> daughter. Christina. <laughs> you know, my, that's my daughter. That's queen daughter, my maid, yeah. right there. And I would say she works day and night diligently, not just for Barbados, but for this entire region. She contributes to help with with things like elevator speeches and all kinds of wonderful things. Yesterday she got some t-shirts. We, we finally got our t-shirts done and I was so amazed. Have you got them, Chrissy? Can you show these people the, the t-shirts? Oh my God, the t-shirts look so good. Yeah, one Everybody second. Everybody one of those t-shirts right now. They should be ordering those. They should be selling off the right. They are so beautiful. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you would not be disappointed this fine work that this young lady has done so far and she's written up if we could create a special post for her in EDDI, it would have to be i don't know uh, I, you, you are familiar with the fact that uh, we do have an uh, addi online store correct yes of course i, I know this I'm gonna put the, I let her put some of them on there talk, call dr jeffries dr stella jeffries yes i'm able to yeah. her up absolutely the, the pan -African she'll, African she'll store. That. yeah the she'll pan -African store, yes She'll handle that. But I just want Barbados to see when the, when the ambassador writes here. We have a couple in our membership committee, Roy and Marcy Turney, and they volunteered on their own money to pay for two buses of school children to come to the airport. Two buses of school children to come wow. to the airport to greet the ambassador on her arrival here. We have I a truly, truly commend them for that. Uh, yes. uh, send, 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 send me that. Go ahead, it starts. Go ahead. It starts with the youth. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It starts. It and it's going to end with the youth. And it's very important that they are included in every step of the way of ADDI because mm -hmm. they are the tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we have uh, uh, just yeah. like, like Brother Arendelle donating chickens and. This body donating that the people step up say we'll give you two hundred dollars. This yo, thing is serious. Yo, yo, Phil, Philip, yo, yo, Phil, I, I want to see the shirt that mommy brought to the table. I, I you ahead. know, you, you keep Philip, making Philip. this. I can't no, no, help myself. Nice I'm excited. Sister Sylvia is speaking to you, Phil. Yes, Philip. Sister Sylvia. Um, the, those ahead. people, those people who have gone above and beyond and given a generous donation, can you please write a thank you letter? So Absolutely. That, uh, us from HQ can sign it. Absolutely. Absolutely, sister. I thank you, please. My man, go ahead, please. I, th I thought she was going to put it on and do some modeling. Hey, hey. <laughs> Easy there. No, they're Easy. too big. They're too big. That's okay. Even if they're big, that's okay. This one is my favorite. Oh, wait, not this one. Not that one. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Come on oh. now. You see, you're teasing the people, man. Right. These are samples, folks, that we're going to put online so that our membership can, can buy and people that want to support our our cause can buy into these, especially for the visit of the um, of Her Excellency. But look beautiful, at this. Beautiful, look at this. beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that red one is for oh, me. Very Save nice. Me, okay? Save me that red one. No problem. Very nice. You know, just now. Beautiful. Courtesy beautiful. Of the what does the back say? Oh, we don't have anything on the back yet. Okay. It's beautiful. It's very nice. Approved. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, 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 have another, I have another question here. Right. Somebody can answer it for me, please. Miss Dubois? Any chance? Any chance of coming to Grenada? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. we will be coming to Grenada. Yes. Yes. I'm... Miss Dubois, I, you had asked where you can reach me. Um, yeah, I, I put your link right below it. I got, I, yeah, I got okay. you covered. I got you covered. Okay, thank you. Please check the link uh, below, and that is my coordinates, Miss Dubois. Miss Dubois, yes, we want to hear from you too, Sir Vincent. I love my Vincentians. You all got to get in this do just now. Where, where is Bishai? Let's get these people going, Emmanuel. 
Now that's I'm listen, listen. Now, hold on. I'm just been quiet for, for for dumber reasons. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. Like I said, at the end of the day, there's so much that can be said, and much more has to be done. So yes. Yes. you know, once the like I said, once the ball is rolling, it's gonna keep rolling. Because as a matter of fact, while we're on it, shout out to Fade, by the way. There's so much going on behind the scenes as well. And and it's just a matter of they say you can hide and buy land, you can't hide and work it. So Amen. it's only a matter of time before it is known exactly yes. how we're gonna connect these dots and different organizations, different people yeah. on different levels to make things happen. But it's yeah. already in the workings. Trust when I tell you, as a matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, tell yeah. you what the elder told me. A lot of things actually happen behind the scenes because yeah. and for obvious yeah. reasons. Um, we are still in this situation where there are those of us that wanna leave out of Egypt. And there's some folks who want to stay. stay in Egypt. Yes. So we must always be wise in our movements, in our going out and our forward in. So, Amen. you Amen. know, let us be wise as as as, as serpents and harmless as doves. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, don't forget, do not forget our people down in the south there in Guyana. Someone uh, is answering the question, Phil. Yes, so to all the Ghanies, yes, definitely all the Ghanies. But we go in Ghana school, man. Yes. How much are they? Definitely. You got a question, I am, Phil? I I am ready, willing, and able. Um, uh, how much price you want for the, shirt? My yes, contact, my mate, she'll she'll deal with that. I don't deal with those issues. You you contact her off off camera and she will deal with that for you. Let me let me let me I saw mommy's number earlier. I was trying to Work it into yours. Let me see if I can pull this off. Um, because it didn't say that for sure. Maybe or I can you put can it call in. me, I'll direct you. It doesn't matter. It's one family, one love. Don't worry. I'm gonna try to squeeze it in there with Phil. Let me see if I can put this in there. Um Emmanuel, let me answer Miss uh, Dubois. Sure, go ahead Ms. there. Dubois asked if we're coming to Grenada. Here's the deal. What we're doing is um we we're, we're visiting different parts of the world in phases so that we can get the word out before April. So this phase, the first phase that we're coming, we're only coming to three of the islands. And then from there, we'll probably drop down to the Central and South Americas and then go to Europe and then now come circle full circle back. I think we have Australia and New Zealand on the, on the list too. I'm just not sure yes. of the dates and times. So whatever areas you guys live in, if you want us to come, uh, Ms. Huggins has put her information there. Or you can contact one of our chairs from ADDI. You have two of them right now here. You have Mr. Kofi and uh, you have uh, 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 Philip as well. And then, of course, there's Colleen. And uh, there's my baby girl on here as well with our T-shirts. So feel free to send in a request and then we will let you know the, but the possibility or probability or when and if we can come to your area. But right now, we just le left an open canvas saying we want to visit as many places as we can. Thank you. And Thank Shemaya, you, definitely you can get one of them. What well, you said, um, one of um shirts or whatever you say, Beijing. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Yeah, he said that. he want one of them. He said he want one of them. Yeah, <laughs> I want one of them. Brother, you are welcome. You've been in Canada problem. too long, man. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just to add to what Sister Sylvia has just said, uh, Miss Dubois, once again, with respect to Grenada, what will happen more than likely the on the next leg of the trip while her excellency will be touching down in the island of trinidad more than likely we will be on your doorstep next because yeah. we know you're yeah. right next door to trinidad yes. Yes. yes wonderful 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 um it's been a it's been an amazing night to say the least i don't even know if i could put it in any other context um I mean, it's always good to have a family. It's like a family reunion. We got people from all across the globe right here, uh, folks watching. And of course, I know how this program works. Um, someone said to me earlier that it didn't show up on their feed as per usual. So they do give me a little, you know, whatever they call it, the the, uh, the cyborgs or whatever. But we know that nothing can stop Ja works. You cannot stop an idea whose time has That's come. Good. And without question, this is our time and it has come so Amen. let us be faithful and continue like those who put their hand to the plow to continue to go forward you know i, I definitely want to thank everyone for coming this was part one clearly this was part one <laughs> we're gonna have to do this again so before we before we wrap it up i want everyone to kind of share a final thought with us um 
I, I'm almost tempted to start with St. Lucia, you know. <laughs> I'm almost tempted. <laughs> I'm almost tempted. I love with St. Lucia. Yeah, now, it's the uh, St. Lucia thing now. I, I mean, yeah. Saint, come on, St. Lucia is St. Lucia, man. You got to give it up yeah. to, for St. Lucia. Tell us, brother. Um, yes, I think the final thought is the awakening, it's, it's, it's happening. Yes. And I think as brothers and sisters, we need to cash into this. We need to use our influences and we must all start from our own homes. Mm -hmm. Our children must know about this. Mm -hmm. Our brothers and sisters must know, they must know about this. And if we all do that, we will definitely reach that promised land that we have been denied for so long. The other thing I want to say is that for all of us, we need to support each island as the ambassador goes from island to island. So I'm equally going to call on as many solutions as possible that want to join Barbados. If you want to come on a trip, we are thinking of possibilities um, that we can probably join our brothers and sisters in Barbados to um, welcome the ambassador. And so it should repeat for the other islands as the ambassador goes from island to island. With that, I must stay. Thank you, Brother Kofi. Thank you. Okay, I must say these are um, exciting times, you know, um, yes. times for us to, to rally together. Um, we've gotten the, the, the call, it's a call to action for all of us throughout the Caribbean and throughout the rest of the, um, the diaspora. And um, we're really excited about what's taking place. You know, when I heard about ADDI, I wanted to bring a chapter to Trinidad and I was disappointed when someone else already brought it to Trinidad, but then um, I eventually became the chair. So it's just exciting times for us. And it's like the scales have been removed from our eyes Yes, um, Dr. Arikana, she's really um, taking that lead and, and leading us um, to the rightful place, pointing us right back to the true north, as they would say, which is the continent of Africa. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, well, you sister, know, without yes, question, sir. without question, Sister, Sister Huggins. Oh, I just wanted to say it was an very, very, very moving evening. Um, I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, I will be sure to tune in also in the near future to Politically Incorrect. Incorrect. It is my first time and I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed it. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'm honored to have hosted you and we get it correct usually. If we're not correct, we stand to be corrected. <laughs> <laughs> To be said to be corrected. Give thanks to a queen. Uh, the Emerald City. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? I love in the Emerald. It's beautiful and it speaks volumes of our legacy as a people. I told someone, um, we don't have a history, you know. The word history, we tend to play with it in the conscious community. You know, we talk about, well, our story, but the word his story actually means literally you know, traveling and the plunder and rape of a people. Mm -hmm. That's why they have a history. We have a legacy. And we're going to maintain mm -hmm. our legacy, pass on our legacy for generations to come. Sister mm -hmm. Sylvia, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, it's our honor to have you. And share with us before you go on behalf of the ambassador, ambassador um, what's the store going forward? Um, I would, first of all, just like to echo what uh, Sister Ray said. I mean... I'm beyond excited. I don't even know how to express myself mm -hmm. because this meeting here is something that is long, long overdue. It should have happened uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And with what you have done today, they say you opened up a can of worms, right? <laughs> but I'm going to say you opened up a can of candy. And oh, that's, okay. candy. that's right. Our, our female Moses, which is Dr. Arikana Chomboriqua, that's what I call her. Wow. My female Moses. Wow. Her time has come to lead us out. And if you don't want to follow, it's really up to you. She wow. has sounded the clarion call, what I call the African talking drums. Those of you who know the history of Africa, village to village used to communicate when people drum, you know there's a funeral, you know there's a war, you know there's something. The drums have been beat. Her Excellency has beat, beat those drums so loud. That's right. They've gone across the globe. 
And those who have ears, like you said earlier on, uh, Brother Emmanuel, you will listen to the drum, you listen to the call, and you will come. That's right. So going forward, um, Her Excellency right now is in Zimbabwe. She should be returning to the United States sometime soon. Uh, we have our VP Cook, Damien Cook, who will be taking her place in, um, in Zimbabwe. As we all know, she has been in Zimbabwe for almost nine months. Or is it going on to 10 months? This is what, October, almost 10 months. She only came home briefly, was it two or three weeks? And she left her entire family here to go and be put boots on the ground mm -hmm. to make sure that the job that we have started is going forward the way that God has given her the vision. Awesome. So when Moses leads, we follow. When Moses leads, we follow. She is out there spending her money. Let me make this very clear. This is something I wanted to say earlier on. I know she mm -hmm. hates saying it, but I got to say it. Right. Oh, it's probably going to do one of these to me, but that's okay. I'll, I'll deal with it. But here's the, here's the deal. This mother that we have, Dr. Arikana Chihombori Kwao, my sister, has the generosity of the globe itself. She spends and spends and spends and doesn't even look back as to how much she spends. I witnessed it myself when I was in Zimbabwe. She gives me a bag with about five, six thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Before it's twelve o'clock, the six thousand dollars is spent because this one here has to do this. She wants to this one to do that, and she doesn't count her money. That's her money, not ADI money, by the way. Let me make it very clear. It is not mm -hmm. ADDI money. That's Dr. Arikana Chihombori's personal money from her personal bank account. Mm -hmm. Because some of us people here have the nerve or the audacity to say, she didn't ask us when she made this decision to do the Chikonomy. Hmm. What's she going to ask you for? It's her money. It's She's doing it for you and I. So instead of you running your mouth, be grateful and say Man. thank you for her spending her money on us. So I'm pleading to our people out there. Let's stop this negativity. Praise the woman. Thank the woman. Thank our Moses for putting up her personal yeah. Exactly. But, I tried to put in money. She told me to stay out of her business. You understand? <laughs> Even, to buy groceries. Even to buy groceries, she looks at me like, uh, like I don't know what time it is, right? And she asked me, is there no food in the kitchen? I snuck out and had to go buy groceries without her. No, she was asleep when I came home, so I got away with that one. But right, I'm letting right, you right, right. I'm letting <laughs> you know the heart, the heart of this lioness. Mm -hmm. We call her Jovugazi, which means the female elephant. Jovugazi is in the, uh, the, the language in Zimbabwe as well as in Indevele. It means the female elephant. Now, when the female elephant stands, you know when she does one, two, two and the ears are like that. It's time for action. War. Indeed. Dr. Arikana is ready. She's been ready a long time ago since she was AU ambassador. All she's doing imagine. now is implementing that which was supposed to be done many years ago. So my brothers and sisters, I implore you. I encourage each and every one of you. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're one people. We are one people, and this movement is dependent upon you. You have to move it. Our youth, I'm speaking to you youth out there, our children, my children, grandchildren, and so forth, going generations to come. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking to you as a mother and a grandmother. This is your time. You need to pick up your shoes, your flip-flops, and start running. ADDI is for you. We need to start training and grooming you to take over from us when we can no longer function the way we are functioning today. Thank you. We need your help. You can't mm -hmm. sit back and fold yes. your arms and say, well, yes. Ms. Robinson is doing that or Dr. Arikana is doing that. No, you can't do that. You need to anchor this, catch it like a basketball and run with it and score that goal for yourself. That's right. We That's need right. you children, boots on the ground. We need you to come to Zimbabwe if you can. Come and see for yourself. Come and learn from the, from the experts. Come and get it from the origin. <clears throat> so that when you try to replicate what you see, it's already in here. You don't have to read on a piece of paper. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mother Arikana, our Moses, is out there on the ground, stomping every day. Thank God some of us now have started joining her so that we can relieve her. So I'm asking each and every one of you, there's such yourself. Who is this for? Who is she doing this for? Or who are we doing this for as a movement? 
It's for you, our children, our grandchildren, our youth. Stand up. Rise. Take that baton. Take that mantle and run with it. ADDI is the name. Please, please remember that the Pan-African Congress that is being going to take place in April of 2023, please remember it is for you as well. It is for you. It is to create a pathway for investment and to create a pathway for citizenship for the global African diaspora. That is the main primary reason mm -hmm. for the Pan-African Congress mm -hmm. that will be slated for April 2023. Very well said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I mean, that's, again, I mean, there's so much <laughs> that can't be said. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so much. Um, well, before I wrap it up, I got Brother Phil to drop a line, and I got the sister who claims to have nothing to say to say nothing more of what you said. Earlier. <laughs> you better let her go first, because if she she's not going to have no time to say anything after I'm done. So go ahead, Mamet. Thank you, Emmanuel. Well, I, I, I was, I was going to say, Mamet's going to always find something, Phil, but if you insist, you know, we can no, do that way. She won't have enough know. time. Yes. Oh, man. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you for having us um, on this platform. It is a privilege. It definitely is. Um, I want to encourage, yes. I want to encourage our people on the island to come forward, even if you're not ready. Just reach out. Don't be scared. Just ask the question. We are a family. I'm not your boss. No one here is your boss. We are family. Not, we're not going to force you. We are going to encourage you. We're going to help you grow. The same way I am um, inheriting aunties and uncles and I'm gaining family, that's what we're going to do with you. That's all we're trying to be. We're trying to work together. We're not trying to reach perfection. We're trying to reach greatness. That's right. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Yes, Phil. Yes, Phil. Give us, give us your. I want to. I want to say. Give us your dissertation. Give us your dissertation. Thank Sylvia, Sister Sylvia, Sister Ray, Sister Pauline, and Brother Kofi. But I want to now direct my and and of course the Queen Mama. I want to, however, direct my attention. Don't do it. We have some wonderful people on this family on this on this uh, on this politically incorrect show that comes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at eight oh, p.m. Man. And you know I've been here from day one. <laughs> I'll drink Sister that. Sister Isis, I love you, Queen. Uh, Brother Art and 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 Jackie and and Daffodil and and all the all the wonderful people on the, that support us every week on this show three times a week. I want to shout out to you folks because you're the real people who make every day of my life meaningful. You're the folks that support me in everything that I do. Uh, and I haven't called some of the names, so there's too many to call, but I want to thank all of you guys. And I, I want all of you guys on the 16th of November as my guests to come, who can come, come to the museum and celebrate with, with her, 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 her Excellency and this team that is on here today, including Brother Kofi and, 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 and Sister Colleen and whoever else they're bringing mm -hmm. with them and, you know, from the various islands. I want to thank you guys for being my family. I'm speaking to the politically incorrect people now. I thank you for being my family. Every week, I, every three times a week we're on this show. And I want to thank you all, Brother Wayne, Hoyt, and, and uh, Maria Paul and all of you, thank you. And remember, 15th and the 16th, but the 16th is your day. The 16th is your day. That's to right. Come out and, in, and meet the ambassador at the museum and enjoy the benefits of ADBI that we're prepared to provide for you. And thank all the beautiful people that came here tonight to, to, to make that possible. Thank you. Well, thank you very, very much. I mean, Hallam, shout out to Brother Hallam as well. Brother Hallam, yes. It's been Always much love to you, Phil. Brother, Brother Alex Mitchell and 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 and, and Brother Lamomba Batson. Shout out to Rastafari Progressive Movement. It's, it's a must. Bonga Lights is a must. The whole Bongalites. family, man. Thank 
you. There's a Brother. whole host of names. You start calling names, you're going to forget somebody. You're going to get cussed in the morning. That's right. You know, <laughs> you're going to get cussed. So, shout out to everybody you know, at home. That, that I have their God. facts, and, and they know that I don't need to leave anybody out, but it's just too many in my house. They, 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 they know, they know, they know, they know. Listen, family, I got to say this, though. I mean, if nothing else, you know, if nothing else. And the, the most important thing that I will say happen here tonight is that we shared we communicated we dialogued and that's the one thing that they don't want us to do is to start mm -hmm. to communicate start to talk you i mean they say that the only time we talk is when we want to cuss each other out <laughs> or say something negative or bring up some gossip and oh man do we love to gossip as a people we just can't help it if they can't find nothing they create something and if they create something it don't work they shelf that create something else and if that don't work and it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes but the worst part is we could push that narrative but on the other side of the coin there are people like her excellency dr arikana shihambori kwa yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Smooth, smooth like that. Smooth like that. The sisters like her doing work. And I gotta give a shout out to Uncle Lur Skin. I mean, he rises in power. He wrote a play called Takuma. And I've had this screenplay. Well, it's a play he wrote um when he was working in university, I think of, of Miami sometime back. And I've always had it. And it's about a black mm -hmm. Moses who liberates the people it's an interesting place amazing and the black moses though is a woman you know so for, yes. to hear you uh queen sylvia refer to her as that <laughs> black moses for me that's another omen in my journey so i don't be missing it i be yeah. seeing the writing on the wall you know so you know i'm honored to even have the opportunity to have all of you here um from antigua to Trinidad and yes, I got to yes. mention Saint Lucia. I, I gotta mention it. I gotta mention it. And Barbados as that gem, but more importantly, to know that there, there are people on the other side reaching out, looking to reach with us. You know, it's like God said, you know, I'll meet you where you at. You know, mm -hmm. so once we make those steps, God will always meet us wherever we at. So I want to thank all you for being here and go tell a friend to tell a friend. You see what I'm saying? That's where we at. Tell a friend to tell a friend. This brother right here stole an African. Him and his wife, love, love, love. I met these two individuals, a beautiful couple. Uh, one is a carpenter and one is a teacher. Uh, the wife is a teacher. I think she's in charge of everything, though. But nevertheless, <laughs> it's about family. And this, this is the family I know who are longing, longing to go home. And I know they're going home the first chance they get. So I know they're going to sign up to that website. Link Let's brother bring them to Zimbabwe. Oh, that they already there. They're in the Fade family, man. They know what time it is, man. We, we yes. you know, it's a special operation. Those who know, know. Who don't know, well, we'll find out eventually. But you know, Emmanuel, yo, Emmanuel, I want to do say a condolence. You know, one of our first members under my leadership here was uh, Dr. Angel Pucci, who passed a week ago. Wow. And um, and I just want to send a condolence out to his family. He's the family. first Wonderful. family member that we've lost, uh, unfortunately. A young man of 58 years old, brilliant scientist, and uh, Parsons College graduate. No, I don't know if that, that might mean something to someone, not to, to others. somebody else somewhere. So, so, however, however, I want to say it is with great um, condolence and, and with, with, with great regret and loss that we have we have lost a brother that uh i have a lot of i have a lot of respect for and a lot of love for thank you well phil i want to thank you for you know taking that moment too because i mean we i told someone recently we don't honor people enough when they're here with us it's typically mm -hmm. when you find that we we gotta lower them six feet that everybody have mm -hmm. the world to say and shout out to armageddon by the way a brother who was in a wheelchair he you know he, he was a dj yes. He was a visionary. This man would bring people together using music. I mean, he I watched him bring gangs together using just music, simple talent. And before he transitioned, the night before he transitioned, he wrote one of his, his last posts on his Facebook page was that it's a shame that people always got good things to say about you, but it's unfortunate you have to die first. And he less than four or five hours, he was gone. And I, you know, it was that, that, 
that has always stuck with me. And it has always stuck with me. That week he kept calling me, I got a banana plant for you because I'm a farmer, right? I, but I do farming as well. And he said, he got a banana plant for you. Come get this plant. Come get this. So I went and got the plant not knowing that um, in, in, a, in a week I, he won't be here. So mm-hmm. we got to start recognize those who are with us while they're with us, mm-hmm. while they're working to do the great works. And that's encourage each other to keep doing that work so that when that torch that 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 torch is passed, we can take it and then continue the journey along the way. So I mm-hmm. want to say bye te, to each and every one. Bye te, blessings. Uh, my South African greeting. Bring up to the King Bogani the third for bye South Africa as well. Bye te, bye te, bye, bye te. And and the family is one family, just one family, and we gonna get this together. This is part one, and we gotta do a part two. Yeah. And we'll be yeah. here. Let us know. <laughs> Well, I want to thank each and every one, and, and don't leave yet. You, you can hold on a minute backstage, or you can stay. Actually, you can stay with us. I want to drop a tune real quick, as I usually do, but I was looking for a tune. I already know which tune I'm going to put out there. It's just only right. Um, I think it's something that deals with family, because that's where we're at right now, and it's important mm-hmm. to recognize that if we do not encourage each other to grow, we'll miss it. We'll miss it. Thank you, thank you. Going to the promised land, man. The promised land. The promised land. It's the promised land, family. We're going home. Oh, yes. Imagine Ghana like California with sunset fully Joe and this bird would be Miami. Somalia like we built Africa. Most pretty light, the pretty car. Every new year, the African Times Square. Like Starting with self first. Just like Las Vegas, the palace them above. Start right where you are, family. Like Atlanta, a pure plane. Get your mind right, family. Dismiss all these spells, all the negativity. Just dismiss it. We can go like Colorado. Boy. Time to relearn home. People living in Morocco like the state of Oregon. Never let your enemy tell you who the enemy is, family. Morning class of yoga on the beach in Senegal. Ethiopia, the capital, the Congress. And that's how I belong. I did the king come from. I can see a solid river. That you are a river. Riding on the king's highway. Distant relatives, family. Family. Be distant relatives, that's all it is. Just distant relatives, family. Be just distant relatives, family. Distant relatives, that's all it is. The promised land, I picture Porsches, Basquiat portraits, pinky rings, realistic princesses, heiresses, bunch of kings and queens. Plus, I picture fortunes for kids out in Port-au-Prince. Tell a friend, tell a friend, family. They not allowed to fit, but not about to slip. Vision promised land with fashion like Madison, Ave, Manhattan. Bring up to all the kings and queens. Deo, relaxing, popping late. All the kings and queens. Oh, fable, this way the truth. Prince and princesses. Them two hoes above your nose. All the chiefs. Yo, I guess in the chiefers. The world was run by black men. Back to the future. Anything can happen. Long live the empire, man. And hundred foot waves. Rastafari. Down, I get some hash, some pants. At least the last the first. Other watch the flip. Empress Rosera Menin. Apocalypse, my synopsis. One perfect balance, family. If satellites is causing earthquakes, will we survive it? Honestly, man, it's the sign of the times and the times at hand. There's a lot of work to be done. Lots of work to be done. Lots of work to be done, fam. We subscribe to all kind of stuff. Sports, football, rally, even hockey. Support the mission. Is that home. ice hockey or grass hockey? <laughs> You got a point. You got a point. I ain't touched it. 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 Listen, family, I want to thank y'all, man. Like, you know, love and light for sure. For sure, for sure. It's all good. Uh, rise up for the Armageddon. Big up to the family. For sure, for sure. Self love first and foremost. I agree. Family, exactly. Exactly. Love you, girl. African, Africa Unite. I agree. We're going to throw in a little Bob family. It's been great. It's been an honor, like I said. And it's seven individuals on here, and seven is that kind of number, you know what I mean? 
that Thank speaks you. of divinity and Thank everything you. is God's time. I think Queen Sylvia said it best. It is now is that time, you know, yeah. that, that mm -hmm. we resurrect. Ezekiel bones were dead. They weren't deaf. So not everybody's going to subscribe to this, Queen Sylvia, you know, and, and I heard you spoke on some things. Not everybody's going to say, well, man, I, I, you know, I, we, we already know. We already know. <laughs> yes. That's, this is we not for you. Just, mm -hmm. just step out the way, though. That's all I'm yes. saying. Yes. Just step out the way because this train is brown for Zion. And nothing is, stop, nothing is stopping it. Nothing. Amen. And I mean nothing because mm -hmm. one of the things that ADDI may not speak about is the security aspect. Well, shout out to Black Lion Security while we at it. Let me just throw that out there because yes. every nation needs security. I make no yes. question about this. This yes. is not an organization or not just simply a family. The reason why they call it a family because it's a resurrected nation. Amen. Make no mistake about that. Amen. God's people, God's people. Family, I want to thank you all for being here. Thank it's been you. love, yeah. pure love, pure love. Shalom, yeah. shalom, everyone. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you, man. Good job. Yo, shalom. Give thanks, family. I'm Bye, family. Thank I'm you. Y'all be good. And as thank always, you. family, y'all know how this thing go already. And Much love and blessings. All the Amen. time, all the time, all the Thank time. Thank you for having us. No, the it's honor, the production. honor, the honor was and is mine anytime, anytime, anytime. And folks, anytime. I will tell some of you that are listening, we will be on the Marcia Week show next Wednesday. Uh, yes, shout out to Marcia Weeks. Afternoon. So we shout out to Marcia Weeks and Dave and all the work that they're doing. So please join us next Wednesday at 1 p.m. All the crew will be back assembled. And looking pretty as ever. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank good night, you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Everyone. All right. Yeah, all right. Have, have, a night. have a good night. Have a good night, family. Bye. <laughs> night. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Finally, want to thank everybody for staying tuned, for staying faithful, <sighs> staying committed. It's been one of those nights. Uh, definitely got to shout out to my family backstage for now. You can hang out there for a minute. I'll be right there in a second. But I cannot go, and I agree with Shimon. Definitely on this one. It's the only right family that you throw a little bob in the building. How can you talk with Africa and not talk with Bob? It's emphatically impossible, man. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Let me just pull this from the top real quick. Greatest of all times, man. I ain't told the goat. Africa unite. One Caribbean. One globe. One people. One aim. One destiny. At least last the first Empress was there, man and family. Yes. One perfect balance. Africa unite. Yes. Because we're moving right out of Babylon. Y'all already know, and man. How good and how pleasant it will, it will be. Before God and man. Rastafari. To see the unification of all Africans. Yeah. As it's been said already, long time, long time. Let it be done. Prophecy. We are the children of the S U N. We are the children of the I am the Rastafari. Right. Africa, United. the Ethiopians, the Ether people. The they call it Menelin now in the science world. Africa unite. We know us as indigenous and original. We know us as the first people born of the soil. Created in the likeness and the image of the most high. How good and That's who we are, family. Before God and man. Before God and man. To see the unification of all. Rasta man. As it's been said, ready. let it be done. Shout out to Wayne and the family, man. How am I see you? I tell you who we are under the sun. We are the children of the Rastaman. Rastafari. We are the children of the I am man.